Oh, this guy got a parasite in his cheek? Okay, I'm gonna just save that for later, then. Time to commit cook this egg, but first I need a pan. Oh, look, a pan, man. Hey, dude, catch. What do you want from Maybe eating it will work. Are you aware of the existence of Spider-Man in our uh, current timeline? Yeah, yeah, I understand Spider-Man. Did you know that at one point there was uh, an item that you could buy online called the Spider-Man Training Studio, where you could train just like Spider-Man? And this Training with Spider-Man kit actually came with an instructional video on how you can be just like Spider-Man. Oh, I wanted Marvel Spider-Man on PS4 to make me feel like Spider-Man. Well, I hope at the end of this instructional video, I too... Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and this is MC Eternal. See the beginning. So here we see are how in the MC world. Eternal mod pack. This is gonna be a lot of fun. There's a the lot, thing. and I mean a lot, in this mod pack. It is absolutely insane how many mods are actually in here. There's a yeah, questing system. No. Everything is here. Look at this. So if you guys are struggling and you guys Create? want a mod pack that is absolutely no, so. large and will last but you a long again, time, this is probably the pack for you. We are going to be going through here, playing oh, around with a bunch of these mods that are in here. Ooh, first of all, it lo it looks oh, like it there's a zombie down here. I want to leave that guy alone. Um, I think this is a Roots Hut, right? Oh, Mystical World is what this is. So yeah, here we are. This is uh, Chosen Architect is the seed for this world, if you guys want to know that. We actually probably just need to get started. Oh, I believe there is ore excavation, now. right? Hopefully. Yes, there is ore excavation. So I have played a little bit of this pack. Not a whole lot, but I Thank have played just a bit. Okay.
Did you know that there's YouTube ads for Minecraft TNT mods? Because I just got one of those. Weird. Took a match of Minecraft World in 17 seconds. Really, I don't believe you. Not even for a minute. sucks but uh he's been busy and doesn't really want to play minecraft so it's all right but uh the series it's gonna be great i hope you enjoy and thank you so much for watching oh, oh matt with his amazing uh, cell phone ringtones yeah, fake buildings oh. rarely mean friends well Oh, 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 fuck, I know. Uh, hey, 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 Wait for JD. Fill it with Jaden. I'm coming. Jay Nizzle. I'm coming out of my cage. I'm doing just fine. Oh, what the Fortnite? Yeah, the water does sound weird. Let me just jump on you. Can you Pause. jump on the boat? Go. Oh, uh, I'm walking with it. I'm walking with it. Ah! Is that fire underwater? Probably. Set fire uh, to the water. To the water. Oh my god, this is like. Oh, there's an equality on both sides, but I'm not gonna get that equal power. Nothing. But there's a spider spawner down there. That's a big fish. Oh, fuck! No! What is it? I told you, there was a spider spawner! I know, but I thought I could swim out! I've dug more. Swim up, swim up. Okay, wait, I got a bet? There was a chest in there. Yeah, there it Wait, I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit. Oh wait, Jaden, just there's a hole there. I'm risking it for the biscuit, yeah. Why did not have to find one? Pirate chest. Oh wait, um, I'm just gonna break this chest. Yeah, that's it gave me know. nothing. Oh wait, this game has uh some chests you need keys to open. Oh god, yeah, I forgot about that. I for more. I actually like that. This is Fast Twitch, a new energy drink from Gatorade. Fast Twitch. Get the fuck out of here. Twenty. Do the thing, and then I need to come over here and do a filter. Item stack. Aquamarine essence goes to dark blue. Want anything going in here? Well, well. Alright, 
So what we're going to do is we're going to stick this guy here, but you're going to have a redstone dust filter, right? So only redstone dust is allowed into this thing, right? And then we'll have the chest, like so, and we'll make your priority nine. Cool. So that priority one, any redstone going into the system, right? So let's watch, right? So let's put that on. All right, any redstone. all going so fast, right? So any redstone going into the system will first go into the drawers, right? And that's why we keep saying 1024 there. And second, we'll go into this chest, right? Uh, in here. Right? So we've got 9312. I found that this guy might need a little bit of help. Not that slow. Really slow. So now we remove the void filter because it's still prioritizing putting redstone in here, but we don't want to void redstone, so we take the void filter out of the redstone door. So now excess redstone lands in the chest. Right? How cool is that? See? All excess redstone in the chest. Right now, if we take redstone out of the system, it's like a stack, right? 8784 going to convert how the hand in. So 16 redstone equals 25, right? And 32 blocks equals 500. That's a lot of math, I know. So the way this math works is 25 divided by 6. Now, make you do this. does his hand-ins, I'm getting coins. Now, what we want to do is reset up that player chest thing, right? That we've already set up. But you know what? I bet the coins I'm getting are not in the building list. So we're going to want to do that. So let's, um, you. And I don't think I want this score type. I want the... So it is chest the thing, but then the thing goes to the... Other thing? So the things go into. And then after that, the coins go into the rewards. Yeah, you know, maybe I should have saved that for when I know a little bit more. At its core, Insomnia Games' adventure strives to make you feel like Spider Man. You know, maybe maybe some point tomorrow you'll see me swinging down to 42nd Street in New York City just. Dumping those hot, slingy webs all over the city, you know? Show me the spider man. You like spider man. Hi, kids. This video is designed for exercising and make-believe only. Please do not attempt any of the moves here in the real world. Off to an amazing start. Yo, is this the same Spider-Man from that, uh, you know, that video of the two spiders on the bed? Vor. Yeah, of course you would fucking point that out, you sick freak. Dude, I'm so excited! <laughs> Dude, the whispering. The whispering. Look! It's a spider! Cool! <laughs> These kids be trying so hard to act. Just like spider. <laughs> what are you doing in my living room? Spider, what are you doing in my living room? What are you doing in my house? Glad you asked. I sent my bio-engineered spider out into the world to seek the best candidates to help me 
fight the evil thugs that terrorize the city. Holy cannoli! Wait, what about dinner? That's a good question. What about dinner? What about dinner, kid? Spider-Man doesn't eat food, so you shouldn't either. Web gliding through the air is strictly for Spider-Man. Not for you dumbass kids jumping off your roof. Warm up in stances. Was he just doing the same dance as Dancing Baby Studio? Alright, let's stretch. How long was this? Oh, inside? you can see that man's bulge. <laughs> you can see Spider Man's massive cock. Yeah, it ain't it ain't that massive, bro. You can see like the head of the penis. Ooh, Wait a second, I know what you right. kids are missing. Skin tight spandex. All right, looking good. Looking good so far. Really be able to reach out. It's important when you sling in webs to really reach out. This is so homoerotic. I hate this. <laughs> Pasty, you stretch for all of them? Of course I am. Absolutely. Why did it zoom in on the dick yes. like this? Please don't eat <laughs> eggs. <laughs> what was what that? Was that? <laughs> what was that? What was that cutaway? <laughs> I would really love to see a Spider Man movie where, where they show Spider Man doing all of these stretches for like 10 minutes <laughs> before yes. the movie actually starts. Do you think that they made Tom Holland watch this video to prepare for the role? Remember, Mary Jane is in trouble, so you crawl from Venom to save her. Why does Mary Jane look like a piece of clip art? Good job, guys. You at home, how are you doing? I'm not doing so good, Spidey. I, I think I just fucking broke my leg. I especially want to see uh, the scenes where it's just Spider-Man over like a blue background doing stretches with no audio. That's that's totally chroma keyable, dude. A hundred percent. The sling stance. The sling stance. Try it again. Sling stance. Sling stance. Sling stance. Yeah, that, that's the famous Spider-Man quote when he's fighting villains. Hey, Venom, <laughs> sling stance. Sling stance. Hold your arms up like this. Make sure you're not only groping their chest, but also their crotch. Great job, guys. You're ready to move on. When do we get to get to the uh, the Spider-Man ass slapping? Because that's the the only thing that I'm here for. Remember to stretch before getting into Spider-Man ass slapping stance. <laughs> Bad guys have this thing about throwing buses. Never understand that. What is happening? Dude. <laughs> that was straight up a family guy cutaway. There's just no way around it. Uh, do you know Hello, Griffin family. Freaking out. Do any of you remember the time that Venom threw that bus? Alright, just wait for it to warm up. Just wait for it to warm up. Why is Venom so fucking thick? Dude. He was fucking rocking that shit, dude. Holy shit. That's a thick ass bomb! Damn! How many kids do you think uh, attempted to actually use this in like a school yard fight? I would pay so much fucking money <laughs> to see two kids fight with these techniques. Well, I can't imagine. There's a circle of kids standing around. Two kids standing in the middle of one obvious bully. And the kid he's picking on is just like, Spike Crush! Why he stands there? This is some of like the most intense Taekwondo I've ever seen in my fucking life. So the thing that I'm worried about is that like when I'm doing these, these you know, any of these poses really, and there's no sound effects, I don't know if I'll be able to if I <laughs> <laughs> and like you lost your train of thought as soon as green screen Spidey came on. Yeah, you started coming onto screen speed walking at me. <laughs> when I'm doing these, these, you know, any of these poses really, and there's no sound effects, I don't know if I'll be able to. If I... <laughs> <laughs> and like right, you lost your train of thought as soon as back. green screen Spidey came on. <laughs> yeah, you started coming on to screen speed walking at me. <laughs> Alright, 
Like I said before, fighting should always be your last resort. But considering the villain what will the be up again, are you ready for anything? It's time to strike. Yeah! Now, better ready. Ready! Your spidey striker will make a sound, so don't hold back. Don't hold back. Pretend that it is your abusive father. What the fuck are these moves? I don't know. I've just been so distracted by Spider-Man's impressive bulge that I haven't been able to practice my Spidey ducking and jumping, man. Oh my god, there's a it's a fake out kick. They kick to the left and then they kick to the right. Look, look at this. <laughs> you harness your Spidey strength and explode with a double punch to target. You harness your Spidey strength and explode. Mm. I said it once. I'll say it again. This is so goddamn homoerotic. Dude, Spider-Man's been slowly getting harder this whole time I've been watching. <laughs> this Spider-Man's got it going on, man. Like, oh my god. Shoddy, I don't mind. You aren't a true Spider-Man fan unless you know that Spider-Man killed Mary Jane with his radioactive semen. <laughs> hey kids, do you know about my radioactive semen? I love how his eyes have slowly been coming off-center on his mask. Let's see those arms. Give me a good flap. Oh, guys, I'm glad Mary Jane isn't here. You're starting to make me look <laughs> did, did he just say that these two kids flexing are gonna steal Mary Jane away from him? Man, you two sexy ass kids are gonna steal my girlfriend away. I might as well steal you while I'm here. Uh, yeah, that's so power. Tired. Let's see you do it. Yeah. Yeah, you fucking do it, Spider Man. Wanna do some pretend web slinging? Yeah. Are you ready at home? No. Thought so. Web sling. Web sling. Whoa, that's pretty good, but don't point that slinger at me. Don't point that slinger at me, kids. Great job. But remember, you're in the heat of battle. You can't stand still for very long. Yo, why did that kid look so terrified there? <laughs> look, look at him. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god, please don't hurt me. Okay. You guys want to play a game to practice your new spidey skills? No. Great! Now take off all of your clothes! This is a game I like to call Spidey Says. It's just like Simon Says, but instead of Simon, you get Spider-Man. Spidey Says, do you know that card that you use to buy V-Bucks on Fortnite? Give me that card. <laughs> spidey Says... What, wait, what is, what, is it, what is this filter that they're putting on these children? What is this? It's a comic book filter, dude. It looks like they're, these children are getting deep fried. Duck slang! Ah, uh, I didn't say Spidey says. Fuck you, Spider Man! You can't trick me! Spidey says. Doc knocker with a jump slang! Ha! Ah, ah, ha! Jump slang! Venom vanquisher! Oh, I didn't say Spidey says! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Spider Man! I didn't say Spidey says. What was that? That one horn. What was with that one horn on that car? What was he beeping at? He obviously wasn't beeping at Spider-Man, was he? Fuck the idiot. New York drivers shake my head. You guys ready to try it? Yeah, you know it. It took these kids two months to memorize all of their lines. Remember to keep your fingers pointed. Oh. No, I'm just having a migraine, kids. I've been up all night last night drinking. Remember to keep your fingers pointed. Oh. Spidey, are you alright? My spidey sense is tingling. Venom is across town. We need to web glide over there to see what he's up to. Are you ready? Yeah! You at home, are you ready to battle Venom? Oh, fuck yeah. We're gonna fight Venom. We. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what this is, but it's kind of hot. Keep doing the web gliding movements and follow me. We don't have much time to catch him. <laughs> <laughs> this is like a Just Dance level. Dude, what the fuck is this model? Why is this dude got it going on? So, what is that? Dude, what a horny motherfucker made this goddamn Venom model. I want to see if we can get a clear shot of his ass. Oh, it, that was it's, close. Look that how was close. thick he is, though. That's what I'm saying. Like, look at this. Like, you're talking about a fucking hourglass figure. Jesus Christ. That was just luck. <laughs> His ass! 
Dude, that's like the same amount of thickness as the Donkey Kong model from the Donkey Kong Country animated show. You know why Spider-Man's chasing after this guy. It's because you know he's gonna let you spank it more than once. <laughs> I like how Spider-Man looks like a Let's Player. <laughs> the bottom yeah, right. uh, yeah, come on. Uh, where's PewDiePie gonna start crying after Venom dies? <laughs> Look out! Jump! Sling stance! Go! Sling stance! You're no Spider-Man. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, dude, really? Dude, you remember you remember the funny meme from 2007, the Oh Really Owl? Yeah. I that was all that was really funny. I like that. Oh, really? All right, that got him. Web sling on the wall until the police arrive. I'll be back. One yeah, that that really thin ass web is definitely gonna hold him. He's like his arms clipping through the wall. <laughs> Congratulations, you are now Spider-Man. In real life. Dude, I would want that transition, like, just that screen, you are now Spider-Man. I want, like, a computer printout of that that I could staple to my resume. So what are your qualifications for this job? Well, uh, I'm officially Spider-Man. Awesome! Yeah! What? <laughs> what? <laughs> there he is, just Venom doing what he does best. Driving an Uber. Congratulations, you are now officially Spider-Man. I'm now Spider-Man. Dude, I'm literally putting that in my Twitter bio as I speak. <laughs> I am officially Spider-Man. Certified Spider-Man. You try it. Snap the number four on your target. Scorpion snap. Snap! I don't feel so good. <laughs> started out with us generally poking fun at and joking about the material that we watched. But as we got into more and more of it, we suddenly found ourselves intrigued. Without spoiling too much of the video, we both wanted to know where a lot of this stuff had originated from. So we ended up doing some research during the video. But we didn't come up with much. A lot is still unknown as of this upload. With this being the case, our reactions have been heavily cut down, in an effort to more so push people to check out this series for themselves. Links can be found in the description below. With all that being said, please enjoy the video. Alright, what bullshit are you torturing me with this time? <laughs> so, have you heard of the television show? I don't know, it it's kind of it's kind of indie. Uh SpongeBob SquarePants? No! Pray tell, prithee, what what is this squared pant? So it's like this new show about like a sponge, a talking sponge, alright? Like I know that's hard to believe. But he talks, and his name is Bob. Sponge Bob. It's completely insane. People out here saying that Rick and Morty is, is, is big brain meme, but this is like expanded, fully expanded brain meme. I don't know whether to call this a web series, like maybe a fan web series. I think it's a fan-made web series. Somebody DM'd me on Twitter about it, and they didn't say anything along with the link. They just sent me the link and the word hi, and that was it. Okay, so that's the way I send you any of the shit posts that I edit, and that makes me very scared. So this is gonna be a terrible one. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what this is about. I just know it's like, I guess, a fan creation regarding the SpongeBob SquarePants lore, and it's called SpongeBob in Beyond the Tale of Blue. It's been dubbed into English. It's not originally English. I don't know what language it is initially, but it's been fully dubbed in English. I'm going to first show you the trailer to episode two of this web series. Great. And then we'll watch episode one and two. I have not seen this. I've only seen little clips and I immediately was like, I need to show Pasty this. What the fuck is this? Welcome to our city of beyond. Do you think we're going the right way, Patrick? No! What? I've already been 30 minutes, here. and I'm lose my fucking mind. mind. My children, how do you like the city, my friends? What are these sacks the sharks are moving over? I'm not gonna lie, it looks good, <laughs> but I'm very confused. The voices totally throw me off. You can join this series. Dude, we can join?
<laughs> Sponge, I'd like to fuck. Pasty, I want to ask, are you ready to watch the whole episode? I'm really ready to ask. Um, okay, so they at the very end, they advertised their VK, which is Russian Facebook. So this was originally a Russian cartoon. Yeah, we're, we're kind of unraveling this as we watch. It seems like there's a lot of conflicting art. Like, some of the assets that they use in the background are, like, pretty high quality. And then, like, some of the other characters look like they ripped them from Go Animate. Also, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that this is a very serious storyline SpongeBob fan film. Oh, oh, I, I no. think that they're tackling a more serious SpongeBob storyline than the show would normally tackle. If you look at the thumbnails, if you go to the channel and look at all the thumbnails, mm -hmm. they, they're very dark minutes. and eerie looking. And th the soundtrack oh, used for the commercial is not playful at all. It's very, like... Like, why are we still here? And as you can see, the first episode has been uploaded a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Eight times? All in different languages. Dude, they have it in Arabic. They have it in Turkish. That's good. Korean. Whoever made this fan series obviously put in a lot of effort making it, but didn't label the episodes correctly. The first one is like Spongebob Beyond Series Episode 1. And then episode two isn't labeled as episode two in the title. It just says, Welcome to Beyond. Episode four has the title episode four in it. You would think that they would go back and change it so that everybody would have the, the proper titles, episode three, four, and whatever. But no, we, we just got this. So let's, let's get into episode one. SpongeBob Beyond series. So it's like Batman Beyond. Is it supposed to be taking a deep look at the future of SpongeBob or some crap? <laughs> it's like a dark retelling of the SpongeBob storyline, where it's like a gritty, dark reboot. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? It's this fucker. Why are they 3D models? The first episode is using 3D models. Dude, they look like they look like they were ripped out of like SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom from the Xbox, dude. Like, Bob was sleeping as usual. As, as usual, as SpongeBob does. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> then he's. What? <laughs> This is the crust to crab, where you can find the best burgers of bikini blood. Why is the narrator, like, whispering ASMR, like... <laughs> Everyone found out their fate was twisted. Thousands of years of civilization are just too... Is, it, is that Donald Trump? Is that Donald Trump as a fish? They had run out of the special spies. <laughs> that sounds exactly like Mr. Krabs. <laughs> Mr. Krabs, can I have a raise? They had run out of the special spines. We've run out of the special spines. Oh. <laughs> Get away! Get away! <laughs> <laughs> this literally sounds like a top fives video, dude. Like. <laughs> Number five. They ran out of the spines. It's inside out. <laughs> I oh, it's inside out. I, it, <laughs> oh my god, this is like those fucking Elsa Gate videos. This is exactly what this is. Pasty, this might be the greatest episode of SpongeBob I've ever fucking watched in my life. I'm, I'm I don't understand. Why is there a bucket of cum on the floor? <laughs> what is this? The I could not cum. tell you what was happening right now. I, I really I can't. Their mouth was open for about 17 days and 16 hours and 15 minutes and 88 seconds. <laughs> the narrator is literally dying. Dude, that's awesome. Like, it's not even an act. Like, his lungs are giving out mid-recording and no one's doing anything. The people that probably made this were literally like a Russian oligarch who's just really in love with Spongebob. And they just went to the nearest gulag and at gunpoint forced one of the dying laborers to just record voiceover for this. <laughs> It's the, it's the 
turtle from fucking Kung Fu Panda, and he's got nipples. I've never been so excited to watch episode two of anything. Dude, that looked like the beginning of, like, the, the nega version of Hotel Mario intro. <laughs> Everybody follow 12th Art Group on, on Tumblr and Twitter or whatever. So I opened, I opened their Twitter and like, I don't understand. Do they make something else other than this? Because all they have are a bunch of like anthropomorphic shark characters there, right? Blue is a dolphin who is powered by sea, enters the battle to help Green, the leader of Beyond City, to defeat the shark's leader, Theodore. <laughs> So I'm guessing that this is a part of this the SpongeBob series, but maybe at some point they just phase out SpongeBob and just do original characters. So what you're telling me is these are all OCs in a, in the SpongeBob universe. I am very sure that these are OCs in the SpongeBob universe. To be fair, these illustrations are mad good. Yeah, they don't look bad. A lot of the a lot of the art that they've gotten from like their fans and stuff is pretty dope. I'm just so confused as to the fact of what I just watched and trying to piece together how you, what we just saw will lead into this. Yeah, like, how is Spongebob and Patrick going to talk to Blue, the son of Nobleman and also protector of Beyond City called William? He's got, like, fucking Thor's hammer. How is Spongebob and Patrick going to lead into this? I'm so glad I stumbled upon this. Like, nobody else probably knows what the fuck this is. I just noticed this, too. They only have 700 subscribers on their YouTube channel. But they have, like, 2,000 followers on their Twitter. You would think that they would have more subscribers on YouTube than they do followers on Twitter because, you know, YouTube is where all the content that they make is. But no, Twitter has more of a following. I just find all of this kind of bizarre, yet... <laughs> Is really it gonna be sure, cool or is it gonna be fucking kind of stupid again? Say the least. But like from here, I don't know. I'm glad because this is bizarre. This is really bizarre. God right, damn let's, it! Let's what the fuck is happening? Episode, because I I really want to see where it goes from whatever the hell that first episode was. See, the you're fine and you freaked the fuck out. The the first video came out in, uh, uh, a uh, little uh, more than two years uh, ago. It came uh, out in September. I don't know. Maybe did they did they have like a Kickstarter equivalent in like Russia or something that they did to get this going? Because it's just now will this, this very, freak the fuck out bad. again or it's will it not? Mystery. It's like salted UK and a pasty internet mystery. <laughs> <laughs> what exactly is twelve art group? What happened to art groups one through eleven? Those are all the failed sleeper cells. We stumbled upon the one functioning Russian sleeper cell who's. <laughs> whose job it is to produce Spongebob content, to brainwash Americans, that, that's it. Look at this fucking design, what, Dude, the, what fuck? the fuck? Like, look at this, this actually looks like very, very high quality background. Look at these high quality chains. What is, what is this? I it's don't like know. It's like a serious Spongebob fanfic, but like with really high budget and quality. SpongeBob and Patrick arrive at the forest by the city of beyond. The narrator got better. <laughs> I think yeah, I think they got a different. They might have gotten a different narrator who I think is English. That or they got a narrator that no longer smoked. Okay, so there's still there's still 3D sort of 3D models, but actually no, the, it uses puppet rigs for animation. Actually, it's not 3D. You're but right. It you're looks right. Like 3D. Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck is this? This is straight up like a like fucking damn. Game of Thrones esque story for SpongeBob. SpongeBob and Patrick stumble into the Syrian refugee crisis. Like, what the hell is going on? Is this on? the fucking Trail of Tears? So, is this like the Nether Realm Bikini Bottom? So, have you ever heard of the Nether for Minecraft? Uh, this is essentially uh, the Nether in SpongeBob. <laughs> Dude, like, what? Look at this. This is like literally like a fisheye wide-angle lens shot. What is going on? Tag yourself. I'm that guy. <laughs> I don't even know why they're here in the first place. Is this to just get yeah, spices? Is it not going to stop around that, around yep, that's anymore? Exactly it. What's happening? Yeah, copyright claimed. Hey guys, 
Look, look, huh? we have beer. Mm -hmm. I can feel the scent of the bazaar. I can feel the scent of the bazaar. Welcome. Uh -huh. Welcome, my children. How do you like the city, my friends? Goddamn. Uh, Spongebob oh, getting into the Amish Mafia. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? My question is, how can I get in on the voice acting in this series? We gotta find a Russian oligarch with the Spongebob fetish that is making this, and then, like, you could probably just shoot him an email or add him on Twitter or something and say, Hey, on? I'd like to put my talents to good use. Good afternoon, Mr. Billy. <laughs> These character rigs are so, so good. Oh I love, love the expressions. You know what's so weird? I, I think I, I don't get Spongebob it. What am I not getting? The R two D two and C three PO of this story, like how in the original Star Wars they were like comedic relief characters, but they set the plot in motion. Maybe we haven't met the main characters yet. I guess. Because the thing that I'm a little worried about that we glossed over while we were talking is the fact that I'm pretty sure he just made the the comparison that. uh these spices, uh, they'll they'll destroy your body. I think these are supposed to be like drug pushers. Like I, oh is this supposed to be like the like an open opium market or some shit? Like, is not ordering a hit on the turtle? Oh my fucking god! Oh <laughs> my god! I need to know who I is this see. fucker. This is apparently the according to like the way they're advertising it, this must be the main character of this story. At least in Star Wars they didn't wait until the third episode to introduce any characters. Episode three is the episode where we're gonna get to see that female SpongeBob. No way. At oh. least according to that trailer that we watched, it, it has to be episode three. I'm also really excited because my up next video is 25 minutes of Gene's best moments from the Emoji movie, so... What kind of fucking videos do you watch? <laughs> 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 that is the way to start an episode. Ow, I don't think he'll show up. Who the fuck is Billy and Jay? I have no Did idea. Did I miss something? Oh my god. When you see that fat ass. Bro, Spongebob just fucking came in pants. Look how fucking pale she is. She's like an albino sponge. This is going on for an uncomfortably long time, bro. Please, please stop staring at me. Please. <laughs> please. <laughs> Green told us not to sell our land. He's polishing the table clock. <laughs> Who knows? One of these days, they're gonna come after me. You can stay until you boys make up your mind. Just help my daughter take the garbage out. This motherfucker is like, Hey, I know that you paid for dinner, but help my daughter take the garbage out. <laughs> Don't get it. The production value on this is fucking insane. I don't understand. Where did this come from? I don't know, bro. I keep saying, like, I don't know what this is, but... There's nothing else I can really say about it. Like, what the fuck is this? It's like it's this bizarre amalgamation of really high quality assets with whatever the hell you're looking at on screen. Oh my god, are we about to meet the main antagonist? Is that what this is? Oh, thank god, finally. <laughs> and then from the darkness, Dr. Phil Eminem walks out. <laughs> Oh, good. What this was missing? The eugenics. <laughs> they're, they're gonna execute him. Oh my god. Oh my god, they're gonna fucking execute him. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> yeah, this is exactly what this Spongebob fan series needed. <laughs> Public execution. Oh. All right, yeah, there we go. Got the hiling, thank God. Dude, that's Morty from Rick and Morty. He's gone. Like, 
I don't I don't understand why they intercut like these really high resolution renders of like just still images or whatever with their model. Like look, like I would expect to see something like this in like an official like uh, comic or something like that. You know what I mean? The cinematography is like legit on point. What is happening right now? I don't know. I don't get this. Am I like low key becoming a fan of the show? Twelfth art group truly needs more subs. So yeah, they made they made a comic version of episode two. Fuck made this though. By twelfth art group. Okay, but who but who made this? This simple recording just became something so much deeper. Yeah. Than what right. I was initially at... thinking. I thought that this was gonna be a fun romp, but this has just become this huge mystery. Hello, SpongeBob fans. Have you ever watched SpongeBob Beyond series? Watch Twelfth Art Products. Leave this mystery unsolved. Yeah, this this is fine because this is it's so I don't, I don't... honestly you just and I will react to another cartoon. I am Mike the Hardcore Blitz. It's awesome. <laughs> what the fuck are we doing here? Why have you let me out of my cage? So, have you guys ever heard of Mike and Melissa? Yeah, actually I have. Isn't that a show on like Fox Five about like these two overweight people? Oh no 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 no. That that's a different that that's Mike and Molly. That's Mike and Molly. Yeah, that that's okay. that's Mike and Molly. No, no, that's that's a different thing altogether. I'm talking about Mike and Melissa. No, I have not. What are your first impressions just on viewing the YouTube page? I already do not like the just the still. Oh what no. Oh, this like to dislike oh. ratio is already signaling some excellent content. Derek, I don't oh, like I it's 15 minutes. This is a pilot episode for an animated show created by a college student. Okay. This college student's name is Mike. Oh no. Oh no. He made it for a college class. This was screened in a college class. Oh no. People, other people, other beings had to watch this. Keep that in mind when we're watching it, okay? Alright, before oh, you start, before you press play, I'm going to finish this drink because I am going to need to get through this. <laughs> so, bear with me while I take two shots. What? Oh no. I don't like that. Don't like that. God, I look like a crazy person. I'm guessing that's the. It's freaking out. Was the better mass? I'm not too sure.
dissolved into nothingness and, <laughs> and it's gone I am like the hardcore play. it's awesome <laughs> the, the boobs the breasts L what the whatever does he hate women no it's Is like an incel He's an incel. Why is this music giving me like PTSD flashbacks to that shitty MIDI converter? Yeah. That you can get online. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, what about those tutorial videos? Also, oh, wait, why does he have poop just written all over his notes? It's just poop three or four times. some piss straight up fucking urine Man, it's gonna be in the 50s, I, I think this guy 80s. hates his classmates a little bit how small is this man's mouth so God I damn. guess I could Look be one character I'm every so day. fucking sick of the CalArts style man yeah this is the original pilot for Steven Universe it changed a little bit <laughs> As you can see, there was some slight alterations between pilot and actual show. <laughs> his beard is on his cheek. <laughs> this man drinking piss. <laughs> <laughs> Drink, take a fucking sip, babes. That story really fucking sucks. Yo, yo, dude, look at Frisk. <laughs> it's Frisk from Undertale. <laughs> yo, Undertale too. Fucking man spreaders. Stupid. He doesn't want to hear about my stupid series. Stupid. The series is what we're watching! Oh my god! Another esoteric reference. This uh, man, I, I'm loving these these meta jokes. Hold on, I'm gonna really? some cereal. <laughs> cereal? <laughs> <laughs> Just eating some cereal, fam. Don't worry about it. <laughs> what is this? My god, Hobo Johnson really innovated on their music, man. <laughs> Honestly, we've been watching for seven minutes and I still don't understand. Don't worry, you're you're not gonna understand. I'm I'm honestly not sure what the plot is yet either, but don't worry, we'll get there. Yo, this guy's going through his incel yeah. rage right yeah, now. Yeah, piss, piss on that tree. Yeah, piss on that tree. He's playing the finger game with his dick. <laughs> Oh, I forgot. Oh, my God. Uh, uh, this was shown in class. This, 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 this was shown in class. What the fuck? What the fuck is this? I just need to find a soulmate. Yeah, I just need, need to find... A purple skunk person? Oh, absolutely. I, uh... You know, I just want to find... Oh, anyone. did Fucking I forget to mention... Around. That his yeah, love interest is a furry created from his own yeah. imagination? Yeah, this could be a note for me, dog. <laughs> I'm what's known as a puka. A banana. I am known as something as a cock and ball. The yeah, they're, they're very different, but it might as well be oh. the same. That answers everything. They're like fairly odd parents, but they're furries and they will fuck you. That's the dream. Who's the the poor poor person that had to voice this character? I wonder that too. <laughs> you have to, like, wait, spray it. Goddamn. What is this? Pause. I don't like this. She's, like, squeezing his right hand. Oh, yeah, girl. Squeeze by this. I don't, I just, I don't understand. Like, 
What is what is this Sonic OC insert doing in this video? Like, I just dude, it's I, Mike and Melissa, dude. Is this what the original plot of Mike and Molly was about? And then they had a pivot so they can get on Fox. Mike, you're not crazy, all right. You just need someone to be there for you. You just need someone you're to be there for you. You're... Someone who is an anthropomorphic skunk that will fuck you. Tasty, would you make this and show this in your way. animation class? If I'm if if I'm being honest, I probably couldn't produce something this quality. I don't understand. It's 7 p.m. They showed this in a class. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, come on. Walk. Rectangles. What is this song? Is this is this the Smash Ultimate theme? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad that Nintendo finally decides to add Crystal into the game. I was really waiting for them to do that, and it's glad that we finally have some real representation, you know? This is gonna take some getting used to. I mean, we're both just speak up. Ah You said it! I'm your girlfriend! It's not like a lick you or anything, Baka! She's, she's existed for literally an hour and 45 minutes, and he's already off his shits. We just fucked on the first date. In like the first 12 minutes, dude, what do you mean? Well, well, Gerber, he imagined his perfect waifu. Why, why would they not screw? What's your perfect waifu, and why is it someone from JoJo? It's President Barack Obama. Is it like normal Obama or white Obama? It's, it's <laughs> white, white Obama. Obama. White Wait, Obama. Back the fuck right. up. I don't. Do I need to send you the picture of white Obama? Why? 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 Why would you send this? What, white Obama? Yes. <laughs> no problem, brother. You realize that this is the cheesiest epic ever, don't you? There was no conflict in this episode. This isn't an ending. Yeah, there was. He pissed on a tree, bro. He pissed on a tree and then got his perfect waifu, and that was the plot. As himself, don't pee on tree guy. God, I wish I could put that on like a business card. Phil booze. I'm gonna need some booze after watching this. So are there more episodes? No, this is it. No this way. It. This is the only episode that was made. So, like, how do you think that, like, presentation went in, in college? So, guys, that was my presentation, uh, my pilot episode. What do you guys think? Did you fuck a skunk? Yes. Next question. Yes, you in the back? So, did you talk to your parents? <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore. I mean, think about it. We could do a reanimated. You have a budget. We have the script, we have the source content, we just gotta reanimate it, dude. Think about how successful we would be. Besides producing Steven Universe, I wonder what else this guy did. <laughs> yeah, it had to be like, really fucking Yeah, no, thing. everybody tweet at Adult Swim, uh, s swirly at Adult Swim on Twitter. Hey, this right, is the so greatest had pilot to be ever. I really think that you guys should make this into a full Algorithm series. Thing? Honestly, if Adult Swim did green with this, that, it would probably be the greatest thing ever. Just imagine this so. actually on TV, like Maybe fully funded. Just give this guy complete freedom. Yeah, give him complete creative control. I want to see where season one yeah. would go. I, I, I'm actually genuinely interested. I just, I just want to read this comment because it's just so. <laughs> Yeah, let's read this out. Imagine this. You're sitting in an in your animation history class. Wait, animation history class? <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Your professor says that your classmate who sits two empty seats away from you is going to show his animation. Joy, then projected ten feet tall in glorious HD, is an autobiographical piece about his life problems and his manic pixie dream girl. <laughs> Girlfriend, <laughs> complete roommate to black sex and masturbation scene. Imagine that, and you will know a fraction of my pain. Holy piss! There are very rare situations in which stuff like this is big public knowledge to the internet. But this guy had the balls to post it online and not delete it. It's still up, even after all these years. You have to appreciate it.
You really have to. I I'm just wondering where this guy is now. Like, is he really working at Cartoon Network? On the hit TV show, Steven Universe. Yeah, if, if, is he really working on the hit TV show, Steven Universe? <laughs> <sighs> Finally, after 25 hours, it just looks like some really, really game. long lips, like a duck beak. <laughs> For now. <laughs> have you guys no, no, no. heard of Diary of the, the Wicked Kid? I have. Any second. Have you followed Greg Hefley through the years? Are you a big fan of the Diary of a Wimpy Kid novels no. and adventures? No. No. Not really. Well, what if I told you that a fan has made a continuation Two. of the novels? And is currently posting them to Reddit. Oh, uh, I, like I did that. not not a single word in that sentence provoked any good emotions in me. When I said Reddit, my bowels immediately evacuated themselves. <laughs> All right, I'm teleported it is outside. formatted in the Diary of a Wimpy Kid novel format. So. Oh no! Oh my God! Yeah, I don't like this. I'm, nice. not, I'm not ready for this. So don't spoil yourself. But it's not now. freaking out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Please. Please, Key I, word. I can't allow yeah. this suffering. Just, just pull the trigger, Piglet, and let's get on with this. <laughs> the year 2032, mm. Friday. Well, I haven't written in this thing in years. I was getting home from work today and saw this thing lying under a stack of paperwork. I guess I used to like writing in it when I was a kid, so I figured I'd give it another try. Jesus, there's a lot of catching up to do. Where to start? Rowley's gone. No, not dead or anything. He just moved away. He's lived in Boston for seven years now, I think. I don't even remember anymore. Damn. I haven't spoken to him at all since I left. I still don't really want to talk about it. Am I happy? I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, no. Sunday. Roderick, his older brother, still lives in Plainville, like me, but not Manny. He decided he was too good for us and went to New York in his 20s. And Manny looks exactly like he did when he was a baby. Fucking pig nose. I mean, to me, it doesn't look like a nose. It just looks like a really, really long lips. Like a duck beak. <laughs> like a duck beak. <laughs> you can just, like, when he eats, you can just, like, expand open really wide. I don't think he has a jaw. See, like, he just unhinges his mouth. There you go. What if, what if instead of, like, it being like a jaw, he, he uses, like, fluids in his face to inflate and deflate his mouth so he can deflate it and it hangs like a dick of ball oh, on, like, the front of his face? Stop. What the hell is even that? Okay. Go to the hospital now. Let's go. The is not the worst. Jesus, why did you have to read it in a voice like that? Get to the hospital now. It's sad. The cancer is not worse. Do we want <laughs> So can you imagine that you get this phone call about your parent? They're sick and in the hospital, and the first thing you do is to sit down and draw the situation in your journal before you leave. Everybody stop! I need to draw the my journal! my dream journal! I need that! Wednesday. I guess I have to come clean. Dad was diagnosed with lung cancer over a year ago. He's like, I have to come clean. You know that last drawing in my previous journal page about my dad having cancer? Well, that wasn't a joke. <laughs> I definitely have cancer. I definitely have breast cancer. There are 13 diary of Wimpy Kid books. Jesus. How many diaries does this kid have? Fuck, bro. Just talk to a therapist like everyone else, <laughs> idiot. Thursday. You're never going to believe who just showed up at the hospital. That piece of shit Manny. After almost a decade, this is when he decides to see Dad? Damn it. Roderick must have told him. <laughs> Neither of them know Manny's here yet. Manny wants to go see him now. So I guess I have to let him. <laughs> he's just holding it up, and all I see is just in our bold letters, it's just fuck. <laughs> the only thing that my eyes were drawn to. Get the fuck out of here right now! Now I want you to get the fuck out of here! Man, he still looks like a deformed man-child. <laughs> he opens up his lip flaps. Dad, I'm easy to you. It just sounds like two, two pieces of, like, steak flapping against each other as he speaks. <laughs> it's just really funny seeing the words that, that piece of shit made me and then looking at how the characters draw. <laughs> like, yeah, look at that, look at that evil motherfucker. You can see it. You can see the three hairs in his eyes. Thursday. Yeah, take many long to leave after that. 
tried to talk to us on the way out, but Roger took care of that. <laughs> Holy shit! What? He's jacking off his meat. Don't worry, bro. I'll jack off your meat flaps real quick. <laughs> syndicate in Boston. They had seen his work, and they wanted to offer him a position. The thing was, they only had room for one more cartoonist. So if Rowley wanted the job, he'd have to move to Boston within two weeks. Now, I wasn't in a particularly good mood already, because Fun Brain Games had just denied my application. So when Rowley gave me the news that he'd be moving to Boston in two weeks, I was devastated. The day before he moved, I told him to meet me on the roof of our old middle school, for old time's sake. I had something I had been waiting a long time to tell him that I needed to say before he was gone. I love you. Yeah, I love you too, man. No, I'm serious. I don't know if I'm bi or what, but I love you. <laughs> Greg Hefley is the LGBTQ representation that we need in the Diary of Wimpy Kids series. God damn it. It makes perfect sense. Thursday. It's been one week since I tried to get in contact with Rowley. He still hasn't responded. At this point, I've only got one option left. Is Rowley fucking tweaked out of his mind? <laughs> He's off the shit, Sid. Yo, look at his eyes! <laughs> okay, so I think that this might just be the greatest page of this fanfic yet. I'm not gay, Greg. <laughs> I'm not playing Fortnite with you, Greg. And I don't want you to get the fuck out of here. What was the main inspiration he said? Somebody commented with the, the post just saying, Bojack Horseman intro plays. And the creator said, that's kind of the main inspiration, mixed with a bit of Master of None. Are you, are you serious? Are, are you kidding me? No. It's the year 2034. The Chief Touch has infected over half the population. <laughs> Dude, that would have been such a better way to start this, bro. Oh my god. It's the year 2034. The Chief Touch has infected over half the population. God damn. Blade Runner really... <laughs> Blade, Blade, Runner, Blade Runner 2049. <laughs> Why is there a flare? There's a flare on this subreddit that just says, You can smell my anus. Oh, uh. Why? Uh, well, so apparently there's, hold on, there's also other uh, fanfics on this sub called Greg I Trip to Vietnam and Greg Happy the Ballistic Missile. <laughs> Holy shit, the Diary War begins the Ballistic Missile is real. Okay, can you start linking these? Day one. Raleigh and I were making lemonade to cool off after a day of some heavy rounds of Twisted Wizard. Not long after, Dad exclaimed to us that there's a ballistic missile heading towards our town in an hour and we need to evacuate immediately. <laughs> <laughs> this is the climactic finale to the Diary of Olympic Kids series. I can see it. Raleigh and I were unsure if this was actually happening. I then received a notification on my phone. Dad was right. Donald Trump said so. 
I can't, I can't deal with this. This is like the best shit ever. Honestly, I don't think these were made by different people than the original author. I feel like the original author just got high on bath salts and just started churning shit out, dude. <laughs> like, 50 minutes left. Rowley decided to tag along with us since his fat ass was too slow to run back home. Anyway, we started hitting the road. We found out we didn't have enough seats for Rowley, so we taped Manny's legs to the roof of the car. I don't care. It works. <laughs> My mom then thought that giving Manny a gun would eliminate traffic, which is a stupid <laughs> idea, but he still did it. A few minutes later, we heard a gunshot from the top of the car. Manny shot the gun and killed someone. We didn't know who he killed, but after Roderick heard the gunshot, he started congratulating Manny and told him he's doing a good job. This family, I tell ya. Wait, why is Rowley shirtless? <laughs> why is he so angry? <laughs> Manny is on a shooting rampage right now. Killing pedestrians left and right just to shave a few seconds. <laughs> Dad said we could haul all of our stuff into the bunker in about 10 minutes. I'm not sure if we'll be able to get the tape off Manny's shoes in time. <laughs> 32 minutes left. We're getting really close to the bunker. Dad said we'll have time to spare if we don't get distracted, but then we heard a faint scream and a whack. When we all checked to see what happened, Manny flew <laughs> off the car and hit the tunnel wall and died. <laughs> Every frame of painting. It was an absolute bloodbath. I wish I had the red ink to show it because Manny was pouring blood out of every severed limb. Like, can we just stop talking there? His little brother just literally got fucking <laughs> murdered. He totally downplays the fact that his brother is dead. He's like, man, I really wish I had some red ink because it was a fucking bloodbath. 30 minutes left. After the Manny incident, we kept driving. <laughs> I don't think anybody in the family seemed to care that Manny is dead. I mean, they taped him to the roof of the car with a gun. I don't think his, his well-being was really paramount in the situation here. 22 minutes left. Remember when we taped Manny to the roof of our car? Turns out, other people did that too. Because Dad was assassinated from a bullet to the head. I love the, the drawing of the dad. Now with X's on his eyes and a bullet wound. But also there's a continuity issue. Ralph was wearing a shirt. You can see the outline on his neck. Ooh. Ooh, dude, you're right. I can't believe that the fucking author would overlook such a major detail here. What is it? Even just still. I'm also not really sure what, what the mom is doing. It looks like she is showing an iPad to the dead body. Bro, check out this funny meme I found on Instagram. <laughs> 18 minutes left. There was a family of three getting into a car that was right next to us when we ran out of gas. These dumbasses placed a shotgun on the roof of their car, and thanks to that, we easily off those fuckers. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> the image of Greg Hefley about to shoot a family of three will now be burned into my eyes. Dude, this is this is great. Like, I'm I'm really glad that they were accurately able to to capture what it was like for the Russian royal family to be stormed by the Bolsheviks in 1919. The timestamp for this page is. Holy fuck. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Roderick, the goddamn piece of shit. We were loading the fucking bags into the bunker and the bitch jumped in and locked us out before we could even toss him all the drummies. The motherfucker left us to die. When is Greg writing all of this? <laughs> question mark, question mark, question mark. Well, I guess this is it. I'm going to die. The bomb's already gone off. I can feel the heat on my face. I'm not making it out of this. Well, I there guess the worst way to die. At least I got my best friend and mom right next to me. Manny, Dad, I'll see you soon. It's not gonna die. So what did you guys think of uh, Diary of the Wimpy Kid fanfics? I was impressed that such pure, raw, creative talent can exist, nestled in even the smallest communities. Gerber, do you have anything else left to say about these fanfics? You know what? Sometimes you gotta be a sometimes you be a little mad to be a, such a genius. Please go go check out these fanfics yourself. There's more content for you to discover with your friends. I highly suggest reading them together. If you're a fan of Diary of a Kid, you will not regret it. And uh, after uh, you know after you're done reading those, we want to see your best attempts at shut writing up, shut up. some Diary shut of up. a Wimpy shut Kid up. Uh, shut fanfics up. yourself. Shut the and fuck. My name's Jeff Kinney, and I'm the author of the. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, 
tasty. Yeah. How do you feel about Star Wars? How do I feel about Star Wars? I sure do love uh, Star Wars. I love it when Luke Skywalker and Darth Maul team up to defeat large Chewbacca. I want I want to send you this tweet about Star Wars. Okay. <laughs> Never seen Star Wars. None of them. Never will. OMG, you're missing out. Maybe. You're missing out on being a multi-millionaire. Keep your movie. My only got his custom plates. My man Tate Sexy out here repping. Look at that man. He knows what he's doing. He's got the Bentley with the custom paint job. He knows he's doing it to him, dude. Look at this shit. There's a message with this tweet saying that if you ever have watched Star Wars, you will never make any money in your entire life. Oh, it gets worse. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I should mention that this is a thread. Today, my friend, we're going to be talking about Andrew Tate. You see, Andrew here doesn't really like Star Wars all that much, and today we'll be taking a quick walk through what seems to be the ramblings of an insane man, scrawled upon the inner walls of a website called Twitter.com. Oh my, oh my god, I just scrolled down. Oh, not your car. It has my last name, Tate. T8 on the number plate. Too much Star Wars makes you dumb. Who is this man? Who, who is this man? Bro, I don't know. I really like the look that he gives off. It's like, it, it's a combination of Mr. Clean and, like, the Monopoly man if they had a, if they had a child. Oh my god, how long is this fucking thread? <laughs> we'll get there, we'll get there. Shut up, shut up. Guys, I have more cars that I stand next to. If you want to learn how to make money online, <laughs> between watching Dork Wars, go to Cobra Tape. I'm not going to click on that. I'm going to click on it. Kickboxing World Championship. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait, wait. This is Tate. Th this is the guy. Yeah, it was Andrew Tate. World Champion Kickboxer. Contact Tate. Your name. Yeah. <laughs> Your email. Yeah. Subject. I want to kick. Your message. I want to kick, please. I piss leg pan. <laughs> You have to you have to specify that you've never seen Star Wars though, because he won't accept you if you have. I have never seen Star Wars. Please, this email address is invalid. Okay, wait, I got it. Okay, let's just move on. Pie at gmail.com. Oh, sweet, it's sent. <laughs> Everyone who's watched Star Wars in human history is absolutely dirt poor. No exceptions. Only I can say to you. <laughs> He's Jesus. He's vaping Jesus. He is vaping Jesus. Look at this. He's posing with all these women. He stopped photos of, like, women that he, he, he's just taken from the fucking escort service he hires them from. Pissy. Listen. I teach you how to make money online here. Cobertate.com slash product slash war. Oh, oh. Pasty, scroll down. <laughs> I called it! Even watching a Star Wars trailer may leave you homeless on the street with AIDS. Only I have the path to absolute financial freedom. Do not follow the Jedi. Follow the Jesus. There's no way he's legit. There's, there's, there's no way. What, what is this image supposed to convey? It's supposed to convey that he's Jesus. Do you not see it? He literally looks like a worse version of fucking Ryan from Super Mega. Like, what is this? <laughs> Learn how to get unlimited girls and to make unlimited money here. I mean, just look at the next one. And he starts out with women they hate you and they hate you because you watch Star Wars. I can correct this. My PhD program teaches you how to get unlimited women. Read the reviews yourself. Has a girl ever tattooed her name on you? No. It's because you've watched Star Wars. Luckily, I teach you the secrets to the female mind. Not only how to get them, but how to make them do anything you say. Change your life today. Here. Wait, that, that, that first sentence doesn't make it. Is he saying that he oh, there's shit. some of the women who their own names onto his body? Oh, oh yeah, wait! 
Has a girl ever tattooed her name on you? Has she ever bent you across the table with a tattoo needle and, and forcefully inject ink into your body to write her name on you? If I, like, pull up my own shirt, like, um, I have, like, a bunch of tattoos. All of them just say Bowser on them, but, like, it's, you know, it's it's just something you like to cope with because when you have never seen... From you've seen Star Wars, which makes you a soy boy cup, to he's, he's hawking his get rich quick scheme. But, but pasty, do you have cool pictures of you with cigars? With piles of money on tropical islands? No, you spent too much time watching Dork Wars. Luckily, you can join my war room and supercharge online money making. Today, read the report yourself! I don't, I don't know, I don't, I just don't understand the whole sexual culture that this guy's trying to give off. Like, pasty, pasty, listen to me, I confirm, I am richer than anyone who's ever seen Star Wars, ever, than even the inventor of Star Wars. things on the internet. I've seen your website, cobratate.com. You think you know how to get girls, you'll never get me. I've never seen Star Wars. <laughs> oh my god, I'm sorry, please forgive me. Can I suck your name? <laughs> this is all because I've never seen Star Wars. I am not big dork, baby. I get all of the money. Every day, millions of dollars should be deposited into your bank account. They never make it because you've watched Star Wars. They turn around and decide to go into the bank of someone who's not a fucking dork. How do they make you rich? <laughs> On my Instagram, you will see that I never mentioned Star Wars ever. <laughs> this is how I slept with your father. <laughs> my penis is heinous, large baby. Yet the females you love adore my penis! Because I've never seen Star Wars! <laughs> this is me in Switzerland with a female. Oh my god, she's fucking dead. You've never heard of females before because you watched Star Wars. This car is an Aventador. On the floor is something called money. I can teach you about these things. When he says that there's money on the ground, I feel like he's forgetting something else, but I can't put my finger on it because I've seen Star Wars! The ability to speak does not make you intelligent. Now get out of here. No, no, Mr. Stack! Alone in my hotel with my Aston Martin key and my hub lot and my solid gold iPhone. I thought to myself, hmm, I've never seen Star Wars. I blinked and the girl appeared. I can teach you to have money and women exactly the same. Learn the secrets. CobraTate.com. Can you imagine being as macho as this guy and having 
<laughs> go to fucking goddamn vistaprint.com for your fucking business cards and having them write out Tate Enterprises Unlimited, Kickboxing World Champion, and then a tiny ass print, and also a millionaire and all around <laughs> nice guy. Listen, Pace, Pace, I'm sorry. Sorry for flexing on you broke boys. I know you're upset, but you're about to get real mad. I'm at the hotel, about to take your mama to the dark side. I'm a use of force, nice and slow. That's right, I am your father. Wait a minute, if my calculations are correct, that was a Star Wars reference. But how could he have known this if he has never seen Star Wars? He was just like, I have lied, I have seen the Star Wars, all of the women around me fly away. When you've never seen Star Wars, you can snap a baseball bat with your shin. My penis is exceptionally large. It's difficult to describe. So huge, yet so beautiful. I have never in my entire life read another man's description of his own junk that proceeds to say it's difficult to describe and then describing it in the very next sentence. Jesus Christ, it keeps going, dude. Do you see how long this is? It's, I thought this would just be like a short thing, but we're still going. The dork armies of Star Wars fans got their biggest, strongest nerd to fight me in a bid to defend the honor of Star Wars geeks everywhere. I used the force on his bumber ass head. There isn't a Star Wars fan alive who can resist my awesome physical prowess. I honest to god, just every every single tweet we go down in this seat, it's just come clear how insecure this man is. And for a little bit, you really think that this guy is just a bot. It's just some sort of bot, like pushing something. Yeah. No, I, but it's yeah. a real person. There's a real person behind it. I've seen this guy's tweets before. He's real. The video in this next tweet, go to the timestamp of 57 seconds. 57 seconds, okay? Look at this, look at this picture. Look at this screenshot. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this is excellent. Wildly considered to have a genius level IQ as the man in the Coney shirt. Points at a blank spot on a chest for it. how absolutely intelligent he is. He's just pointing to it. He's like, you see girls, this is called the pawn. The pawn can only move forward, much like me. Because I've never seen Star Wars, I keep moving forward. <laughs> Can we please put on shirts? No, I gotta show you how to watch Star Wars in some nerd movies. This is the kind of life you live if you've never seen Star Wars. Quickly, go back in time. Don't watch dork movies. Visit CobraTate.com and learn the secrets to wealth. Oh, that, that makes perfect sense. Okay, now, Pacey, I want you to imagine the coolest man you've ever met. That's right. Close your eyes. Close your eyes, Pacey. Close your eyes. I am. I'm imagining him. Imagine hard. You see my face, don't you? Nope. <laughs> not even not. Nope. My beautiful face. I don't see your face, Derek. I'm sorry, I don't. Yes. You're wet now. I... <laughs> yes. It's okay. It's okay. I've never seen Star Wars. <laughs> He's still going! He's still going! Dude, I can't believe it. The car you love. The man you love. You've seen the Lambo and Aston already in the thread. Notice the Ferrari. That's right. Cry. Cry, little dork. Star Wars did this to you. Star Wars betrayed you. Star Wars betrayed us. You could have been me. Learn how. CobraTate.com. This next one is good, too. I will pay PayPal you a dollar as many times as you want. Read your PayPal address at me with the line, I hate Star Wars, two hours only. And this, this tweet has 472 reports. <laughs> Dude, I'm I'm actually freaking out. I'm kind of terrified of this next tweet. Like, I need you, after I read this, I need you to calm me down. Okay, because I'm having a breakdown. What the fuck? I have all the sex. Because I've never seen Star Wars. There is no sex left for any other male. You'll die childless. I will impregnate every female alive. Repopulate the earth with my brilliant genetics. 
never polluted by Dork Wars. Luke, I will be everyone's father. Ultimate Sleep Mode activated. What happens to Star Wars? Sign? My, my opinion is very, very wavy. I get the impression that he's watched Star Wars. I've been trying to figure out what was up with the formatting of these tweets for the longest time. It's like he's writing poetry. It's like I'm reading haikus. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't quite phrase it like that, but I can see how you would say that. This is free form poetry, please. You can put this in a Shel Silverstein book. <laughs> Actually, now that you mention it, it does kind of look like Shel Silverstein's image on the back of the giving tree if Shel Silverstein was into kickboxing and being an extreme misogynist and never watching Star Wars. So, I, I think I, I think we've learned a valuable lesson today. Well, what was that, Pasty? If you even live in the same universe as the one where Star Wars has been invented by White Yoda, as we all know, mm -hmm. it's impossible for you to even imagine the concept of money or women. Um, so I guess you're out of luck then. Hola, mi amigo. Oh, hey, it's Tuesday, the video ending robot. Hey there, Tuesday, what's up? It's this time going the video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Tasty, welcome back to the sealed off room. There is no doors. You cannot escape from me. By the end of this, I expect you to go to your local Wendy's pasty and <laughs> enroll in their workforce. <laughs> enroll. <laughs> I tell everybody to get out because I'm the only Wendy grill master here. Oh, this is radical. Now this is happening. They burnt the hell out of the Commodore 64 they rendered this shit on, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god, they're singing. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Whoa! That, that logo just came right at me! Hi. Hello. I'm Wendy's founder, Dave Thomas. I'm just hanging out here in my freezer where I live. I'm here in my garage next to my Lamborghini. How dare you? How dare you say Ty Lopez's his name? <laughs> How dare you say he stood where Dave from Wendy Burger stood? How bad you sound like he stood. I believe the only way to make a Wendy's old fashioned hamburger is to press the beef patty. <laughs> to press the beef patty. There's no other way. The only true way is to press the beef patty. It also makes the patty larger, so they'll hang over the edge of the bun. Mm, and people will yeah, like that. I think I'm <laughs> oh. People will like that. You seem to really know what you're talking about, Dave. He's very enthusiastic about uh, bun hangover. What the fuck is this? What is going on? Dave went home. They just put the camera recording. Dude, tag yourself. I'm that that guy. I'm the dude with the creepy mustache starting with chili. <laughs> I relate heavily to Creepy Chili Man. Can Creepy Chili Man be the new Twitter meme where everybody draws like sexy fan art on oh, Dude, Wendy should bring him back. We should at Wendy's and be like, can you bring back Creepy Chili Man from your 1990 fucking training video, please? And then Wendy's will have some sort of snarky response and then all the people on Twitter will be like, Lamau, are we in a simulation? What timeline is this? Dude, what, what the... What is this monitor? What is this fucking NASA launch computer doing in Wendy? <laughs> what the fuck is this? He's about to be transfigured into the Matrix. Enter the Wendy's mainframe. <laughs> <laughs>
that's what, that's what I was waiting for was the vaguely stereotypical women. What do I start? What do I do? Just remember the rest. Remember, remember, if you die in the game, you die for real, man. Follow the arrows. You like the shoes. From front to back, lay it down. Face it evenly. He's still singing. And the music, the music is off, and he's still singing. The thing that I'm really confused at is that how corporations today haven't learned that doing rap songs and whatever their promotional stuff is never works. What are you talking about, dude? I, I'm learning so much from this man who is rapping at me. But that's like the fucking, have you seen the Mitsubishi commercial where the dude freestyles while they're driving the new Mitsubishi crossover? I'm gonna get some music going for us here, is that right. cool? Actually, you know what, yo. Do it the real feeling like a big boss in the all new 2018 Mitsubishi to twist the car. Dreams of luxury that suddenly come true. Yeah, that would make me want to drive into oncoming traffic, not buy your product. <laughs> when you see red juices on the top of the knees, it's time to give them a turn, then press the repeat. Yo, white people rapping be like, <laughs> am I right, hello internet users? Dream dancer, one of our gifts, so don't tempt you with the fingers, that's a big no no. <laughs> Wagging his finger in his fucking face. Don't fucking do it, don't fucking do it, <laughs> newbie. Press them together and it's complete. Drain the third like you did before, and you can handle any dude who walks through the door. Yeah, you can handle yeah. you can handle any man. Imagine imagine if that man walked into the Wendy's asking for his double and he expects his meat well done like Put those patties in the chili pan. The same for all of our chili fans, but it's our chili fans are old homeless men who have seizures constantly. It makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that? Seriously, is this on Spotify? That is the ancient Wendy scroll of wizarding. It, it, it wields as much power as an Elder Scroll. Uh, <laughs> that you, <laughs> you open it up and like a rift in time happens. That yeah, that's how this guy got ripped into this fucking uh, NASA launch computer because he uh, he opened the Wendy's Elder Scroll. It's all right. Now Barbara Bush's clone is gonna teach you how to make authentic Wendy's burger. What the hell is going on? No rapping allowed here in Wendy's. Exactly. Only in the face. Not my good Christian Wendy's. Thank you, sir. Very nice. Thank you. He was waiting in line that entire time. The entire yeah, twenty he was, minutes. He, he was waiting for the dude to finish dissociating in front of the microwave to make his fucking hamburger. <laughs> Man, is it working at Wendy's epic? Dude, he's got the grill skills. He's the chosen one. Wendy's Music International? That's a, excuse me? That's a thing? No, I, I think that we should make our own fast food place. I think we definitely could. We can call it, uh, the, the big... Hmm, that's a good name. Let me see her pick up a bit. Yes, Your Majesty, our forefathers predicted he would be the Christ. The Christ? The Christ? Hey, Pasty, how's it going? Uh, it's going, so it's going pretty good. Really it's going okay. I have a question for you. Oh, you do, huh? Yeah, yeah. Have you heard about... Hey, guys! Oh, what the fuck? Just get over it. Just get over it. It's my turn now. Okay. Yeah, All right. I'm just uh, that, that's fine. Have you ever heard of Jesus? That guy that was nailed to a cross, yeah, I heard about him. I discovered this animated short a while back. How it went down is, I go to half price books, right? You can find some cool shit there sometimes. I'm in the clearance aisle, I'm scanning through the, the $2 DVDs, one look at the cover, and I knew that we were meant to be. Prince of Peace, a Christmas story. So, uh, this is a Christmas special now. Everyone look under your chair. You got the Santa hat. Oh, cool. All right. Well, I like Christmas. I don't know shit about religion. I'm agnostic. <laughs> uh, it's, it's fun. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know what a Jesus is. <laughs> what does he even do? <laughs> what does he do? <laughs> it says in the Bible, hey, I'm Jesus. What do I even do? Well, anyway, I think I should... I think I should pop this into the good old DVD player. Let's get religious! Yeah! The Prince 
of peace. Graphic design is my passion. Looks like fucking Sig Six. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was just gonna walk through the wall. <laughs> <laughs> I was legit just expecting that to happen. Can you tell who the main character is? It's her father. Her father gives birth to Jesus. Yeah, it's very progressive. It's very crazy. Yo, this guy's got some dope mutton chops. I know, right? He's getting the follow on the gram. <laughs> Oh my god, they got robe physics in this. Holy shit. Yeah, they got robe physics, but the animations look like they were literally like, they, there's five points of movement. Y'all are gonna hate me. This looks like the cutscenes in Sonic Adventure 2. Hold on to that hope, man. I was to say that, but now I'm beginning to believe that maybe God has forgotten us. So that's Mary, right? Okay, no, yeah, that's Mary. Yeah, I, I was literally just asking, but then holy things happened, and I knew it, it, it was the holy woman. Who are you? Do not be afraid. I am Gabriel. Gabriel's character model hasn't loaded in yet. Man, I really love how these chickens just don't give a shit about this fucking angel standing in front of them. Tag yourself, I'm the chickens. <laughs> Your purpose is to give birth to someone who will be better than you. Have fun. Man, that must suck knowing that. Just like, your entire purpose in life is to give birth to somebody else who's more important than you. No, right? They, they could at least give it like a, like a Sarah Connor situation where she like... Yeah, where the Terminator travels back in time to try to kill Mary and Joseph before Jesus is born. You see, right off the bat, what I really, really like about this animated special is that how unlike other retellings of the Bible, this one has a very heavy focus on Mary's parents and fleshes them out as fully 3D characters. And that's not just a pun, that's me being serious. But not Mary herself. Mary is just there to give birth. How could you? It's true, Joseph. The angel told me. Angel? Please believe me. I wouldn't lie to you. I want to believe you. I can't. I can't marry you. It's over. No. You must. No. Never believe your significant other unless God tells you to. I really like how it's been like 12 seconds and uh, Mary's like really pregnant now. I mean, they gotta do something to, to ease the- Whoa, did you see that? What? what? No, what happened? Her stomach just went like, 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 almost like Jesus like kicked super hard or something. Man, everybody in this movie has mutton chops. It's so great, right? My husband is correct, I'm afraid. There is no more room here. Try Baltazar's in. It's nice, not too expensive. Yeah, just run down to the Motel 6. It's like three exits back. They might have space up there, bro. Welcome to Airbnb. <laughs> we'll get to see the three kings. We sure fucking do. There's something in the air. It's called oxygen. Even the sheep are unsettled. <laughs> Sheep are fucking pissed, yo. What are we gonna do about this? The only reason that sheep would be this pissed is if a messiah was being born right now. The sheep are just- one of them's running away! Go get him! He's got to like the worst shepherds ever. These guys are such noobs. Look at their entire player library that they don't have any of these characters unlocked for. God. Holy shit, dude. It's like in Lego Star Wars when you first start out and you only have two minifigures, but there's like an entire library you gotta fill up. It's exactly like that. <laughs> this is so specific. Look oh, okay, I guess he just had the baddie. What? Oh, we're just getting okay. glossed over that whole part there. Well, that was easy. 
Joseph, I don't remember giving birth to this baby. This is honestly the most underwhelming birth of Jesus I think I've ever seen. You know, honestly, that baby model looks like uh, kind of the ones that they had repurposed to make Shrek's children. You know, in Shrek the Third, he looks pretty similar. Oh, I was thinking of that scene from from Arnold Schwarzenegger's Junior when you see the the baby Schwarzenegger. So far from your homeland, great man. Oh, this has gotten much, much more racist than I was expecting it to be. <laughs> no. There's like so much going on. It's like they had, it's like they had one so animator like for like each part of his face. Like you do no, the eyebrows, you do the mouth, you do the jowls. always do that. Uh, well, ask his counselors. I, I need permission from my counselors. Hold on, guys. I can't play Fortnite yet. <laughs> Hello, can you sign this permission slip? You're still expecting him? Yes, your majesty. Our forefathers predicted he would be the Christ. The Christ? The Christ? Yeah, fuck that bottle. The cross? He's gonna fuck him up. I'll kill you. You only come. I can prepare a place from here in my palace. That was such a subtle flex from my man Harry here. Yeah. He had to drop the fact that he's destroying his palace. Here in my palace, just bought this uh, new Lamborghini here. What is this guy doing? Are they just, are they just staring at a wall? Yeah. And if you find him. He's just T-posing! You know, actually, Red, that's a different form of default pose, called the T-pose. Normally, the T-pose is when the arms are actually perpendicular to the model, but in this case, they're slightly slanted diagonally, and instead form a sort of A-shape. That being said, guys, welcome to a brand new episode of an ongoing series where we basically take the camera anywhere we want. This is where we can find the only one, is it not? With that being said, guys, welcome to a brand new episode of an ongoing series where we basically take the camera anywhere we want. This is where we can find the only one, is it not? Oh my god, these guys are so racist. These accents, not feeling it, not feeling it. Dude, they're just like retconning these freaking details, you know? Um, yeah, I don't think that you're allowed to retcon the Bible. What, what do you mean? Why not? And Jesus had cool laser eyes on the cross. <laughs> You know, I'm honestly shocked that people who are into, like, manga, like, Berserk and stuff like that are always upset with uh, the hiatuses that that manga takes. Meanwhile, the Bible has been on hiatus for, like, what, like, 3,000 years? Like, where is the new New Testament? Fuck Half-Life 3, where's Bible 2? <laughs> There's only three minutes left in this narrative. What the hell are they even going to do? I don't mean to spoil it. I don't mean to spoil it. But don't spoil the Bible, dude! I just got done with the Old Testament. They're gonna run away to Egypt. They're gonna, they're, they're, they're gonna, no, they're gonna run away to Egypt. Dude. They're gonna hide there for like, oh my yeah. god, just dude. Started. Wait a second. This blanket isn't Jesus. Did you hear that? That sounded like a baby. It smells like a baby too. That might just be a baby. Closer to atheism than I ever would have been, thanks to the wonders of CGI animation from the early 2000s. So that was the Prince of Peace. Yeah, it sure was. Thanks. Thanks a lot. They left the phone number at the end. You want to call it? Yeah, I'll call it right now. The number you have dialed is invalid. Please check your listing and try your call again. The atheism win this time. Have 
you heard about the Yo-Yo Man? The Yo-Yo Man. No. No. Would you like to hear about the Yo-Yo Man? Sure. So this is the Yo-Yo Man. Oh, God. Oh, the Yo-Yo Man. This is the man that he just kept on yo yo I want to be a Yo-Yo Man, he cried. But before we dive in, you might be asking, who exactly is the Yo-Yo Man? No. This is Tommy Smothers, the Yo-Yo Man. Him and his brother Dick Smothers... Dick! <clears throat> Him and his brother Dick Smothers came together to form the Smothers Brothers, a musical and comedic duo that were super prominent back in the 1950s and 60s. So prominent, in fact, that they actually had their very own show on CBS called The Smothers Brothers Comedy Hour. The show's original run was a mere two years, but was revolutionary television for the time. For The Smothers Brothers, just being a comedy variety show wasn't enough. The duo would constantly bring up and poke fun at both popular and controversial topics of the time. This, of course, included a lot of political commentary, and the higher-ups at CBS hated this. So much so that they not only heavily censored the show throughout its run, but they eventually even canceled the whole thing outright. But where exactly does the Yo-Yo Man come into this equation? 1986. On a live airing of the Johnny Carson show, Tom Smothers had made his way onto the stage. At the time, Tom was set to perform on the show, and the audience applauded with glee as he sauntered forward, only to discover that this was not the Tom's mother's that they had grown to love. He was wearing suspenders, and had a circular device balled up in his hand. He looked broken, yet determined. This was the first public appearance of the Yo-Yo Man. Ever since that day, the Yo-Yo Man has made sporadic appearances all across the universe, gracing audiences with his unique array of tricks, and bringing smiles to their faces. Luckily for us, the Yo-Yo Man is a peaceful creature, and even so, he may grow tired of humanity's fall, and the universe as we may know it may cease to exist. Was that really necessary? <laughs> no. Did you really have to ramble on about that for like... 15 minutes. You could have just said, this guy uses yo-yos. Seriously. Well, like, yeah, but I gotta give you the background. I gotta give you that sweet, sweet lore. That's what the viewers want. They want oh, the lore. Without lore, lore we are savages. Stupid, dumb this savages. Is small, too. Anyway, let's learn how to yo-yo. Oh, shit. It was made by Kodak, so you know it's gotta be good. Just Say Yo, the Yo-Yo Man instructional video oh, this featuring is the Yo-Yo Man. Yeah, you show each other with the yo-yo keys are relatable. If I can't relate to the yo-yo man, then how am I supposed to learn how to yo-yo? Holy shit. This man killed 35 oh. just with his yo-yo alone. You fuck with him, you get the yo. <laughs> this is a picture of a child. And now, he is the yo-yo. Pretty cool, huh? I'm here to tell you how my brother Tom, after many years of searching, and long hours of practice, and you became the Yo-Yo Man. And how you too can attain that lofty state of young. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Me, Dick Smothers. I murdered 900 in Vietnam with my Yo-Yo alone. Dick asked me, where did the Yo-Yo come from? I used to be to strangle my enemies. People have asked me, where did the yo-yo come from? But what I feel like they should be asking is why I have this giant cello in the middle of a TV special about yo-yos. Seriously, anybody gonna ask me about this cello? Anybody? Please? The right God invented the yo-yo. When Jesus was crucified, he was hey, hitting the yo. Contrary to popular belief, Jesus was actually strung to a giant yo-yo and rolled down the mountain. He died when he smashed into the bottom. Stay low. Hello again, I'm back with my cello. Seriously, why does nobody ask about the giant cello? He heard the music. He found the groove. Holy shit, he was transported to the Yo Dimension. 
into the church of yo you must learn how to yo honestly god this literally feels like a, a thing that like in 1994 the cult of yo was <laughs> stormed by u.s marines after taking the president hostage the cult of yo killed themselves in a mass suicide now, i have to say this is pretty enlightening i never knew that scientologists believe stuff like this Heaven's Gate is wild. Contrary to popular belief, yo-yos aren't an affront to God. Hey viewers, take a shot every single time we say the word yo. You will yo, die yo, within yo, seconds. Yo, 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 yo. Shut up, Gerber! Winding the yo-yo yo, 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 man does. See his finger? He slips it right across the yo-yo. This is kind of strats. You see, you don't get these types of strats from local yoers. Yeah, when you got real yo game, you learn these. This is some advanced tech. When over him, the yo-yo just naturally rolls off the hand down to the sleeper position. Do it again, yo-yo man. Do it again. Do it again, yo-yo man. Yo-yo man, you're the slave to television. Who slave to my yo -ing. Yo, man. Just talk to me. I'm excited to calm the hand. See how lazy it's getting? Fucking lazy yo-yo. Just like my lazy bitch of a wife. But just wind it too tight one time, wind it too loose another, and you get what I mean. Uh-oh. That's it. That's it. You have been ostracized from the church. You will be killed for your affront to the yo man. It's important never to aim the yo yo directly at anybody. It's too powerful. You must not aim it at innocent civilians. You know, audience, me and Dick's mothers over here were just talking about my cello. Care to ask where I got the cello? No. Will I ever play the cello? That's what you want to know, right? No, you just want to know the stupid yo-yo. Holy shit, yo-yo, you -yo said gay rights. <laughs> now notice that the palm up release marks mark release. Lots of spin. God, I wish I had a yo-yo on hand to try these neato tricks. They wouldn't let me take it out of the academy. When I do the yo-yo, I immediately do the beta male smile. <laughs> This trick is for furries. This video's got something for everyone. Yo yo, gay right, furry bait. Holy <laughs> shit, I can't believe this. This video's catering to all of my needs. Give me your man says he likes to try it by himself. Okay, yo yo man, let's see if you can do it. Now bring the arm up. Come on, come on, yo yo man. You got this. Yo yo man killed it right there. Holy shit, look at him jiving. Alright, he's slick as fuck with this, bro. Look at the, the movement of his pelvis back and forth. That's just a seductive tree right there. No, we're about halfway through this video, and I'm gonna declare, Yo-Yo Man, he fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. The person screaming didn't yo-yo correctly <laughs> and died. You keep yo-yoing with me like this, then we gotta end up like this. You're <laughs> really Straight out, over the wrist between the arm and body, straight down, then up to the palm of the hand. Let's watch it in stop action. In stop action? Listen, I guess that this was released in the 80s, but stop motion, buddy. I was watching in cow art style. Now this trick is a little bit difficult because you need to get a plane ticket and a round trip to every single location around the world and walk the dogs. Except for Venezuela. You don't ever go to Venezuela. Border Patrol will shoot you on sight. <laughs> they don't check for anything but yo-yos. It's custom. Unbelievable the impact of socialism. Let's watch around the corner. It's over, Anakin. I can go around the corner. <laughs> You underestimate my power! Don't try it! In your anger, your yo-yo streak broke. <laughs> Execute Order 7, rocking the baby. This trick has been illegal for about 45 years and was only recently allowed. This trick got popular and illegal when Goku used it to defeat Frieza on Nandex. 
No, Super Saiyan was a translation error. It, it was actually Yo 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 in Japanese. You know, I was pretty cocky once. You know, before the show, I thought that people would ask me about my giant cello. But nobody's asking me about my cello. Seriously, guys, please ask about the cello. I spent so much money on it. Watch the timing on this trick. And that. If done successfully, then the fourth gate of your heart will be opened. When you open the eight yo yo gates, your heart stops instantly, but you get a limited power. <laughs> Before doing this trick, it's very important to take off your ankle weights so that you can defeat Gara and finish the exam. <laughs> yo-yo suspenders? In honor of the yo-yo man's completion of the nine basic yo-yo tricks, did he ask for gold, silver, or other material goods? No, he did not. He simply asked for and received his very own suspenders. I wish, I wish the yo-yo god would come down and give me suspenders. These suspenders will help control your power. Without the suspenders, you will not be able to channel it into yo-yo tricks. Do you think it's serious if he takes off the suspenders to unleash his full power? <laughs> yo-yo man, we can't beat him. Yes, we can. Sorry, master. Takes off his weighted suspenders. Dude, they must have blown up the fucking Amiga computer they were using to render all of these excellent yelling tricks on. These double yelling techniques are used to shave nipple hairs off of anyone who asks in the audience. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yo, yo, man, pick me, pick me! I want my nipple hairs trimmed! I'm 38 years old. I'm yo yo for a living. This is the life that I've chosen for myself, and it's fine. Although I'm in a friend to God, I know that I'm loved. Oh my god. Oh my god, you were right, Gerber! Yo-Yo Man Fox! <laughs> Yo-Yo Man Fox. <laughs> ask me about my cello. Please, please ask me about my cello. Come on, no, we got, seriously. We got two minutes left. I need to know. Holy shit, he spelled Yo-Yo with his jankly body. <laughs> Don't point at me, you sick freak. <laughs> <laughs> Get weed! Get weed! But why'd that get? Why is bread like fucking impossible? Well, that's where they get flour. Now where they get flour. Now where they get flour. I mean, the porch grinds don't get flour. I got a new laptop. I found this folder. It was hidden. And it automatically connects it to this thing. Dude, this is dark web. And this computer's got videos on it, right? Check this out. Hi, I'm Robert Cosey. My wife, Kathy, and I own the website, webscarfield.com. Webscarfield.com features only a small part of Kathy's extremely large dark web collection. Guys, I just want to ask, how big a fan of you are... Fuck. Let me start over. <laughs> Guys, how big a fan of you? Oh, guys, I have to ask, how big a fan of you are you? Fuck! <laughs> I can't say it. I how can't. How big of fans are you? Okay. <clears throat> guys, how big of fans are you of Garfield, per chance? Only the tail of the Would you collect merch of Garfield? Well, it depends. Only if it's like, uh, you know. I don't, I don't know. If I have Lavanya every night, does it count? I'm a really big Garfield fan, and I love collecting merch of Garfield. I have a whole collection of it in my home, and I've always wondered how to sell my Garfield merchandise. And funnily enough, I just happened across this video called How to Sell a Garfield Collection. <laughs> How to sell your Garfield oh. collection. Yeah, I sure hope it does. Disclaimer, the following is a documentary on how to sell your Garfield collection. Garfield is a registered trademark of Pause Inc. Pause Inc. reserves all rights to the- Ah, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Robert Cosey. My wife, Kathy, and I own the website, webgarfield.com. 
Mozgarfield.com features only a small part of Kathy's extremely large Garfield collection. We were also the host of the 13th Annual Garfield Collectors Convention on Long Island, New York in 2011. Holy shit, that isn't too far from us. Why didn't we go to Garfield Con? Can we find a modern Garfest and go? They still go on every year. No way. Yeah, no, they, they still get together every year. Some people inherited the collections, and other people are just... Praise the Garfields! Ladies and gentlemen, stand up! Proclaim your love! How do you know what is the value of Garfield? How do you know? It is our experience that Garfield collectors usually go after what makes them smile. Would show up to your shitty garage, you fucking idiot. <laughs> if you have an exact replica of John Arbuckle's garage, I'm not showing up. I'll show up and kiss your wife in a Garfield outfit just to prove how dedicated to the orange <laughs> bastard I am. <laughs> the orange <laughs> 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 We may be interested in a few individual items. Kathy at lovegarfield.com. Holy <laughs> shit. That's a URL that's stronger than I think the NSA. <laughs> like, imagine working at the NSA and being like, dude, the people that run fucking lovegarfield.com, those are the real people that run the internet. They know what's up. Check out www.lovegarfield.com or our YouTube page for more information. Holy shit. Holy shit. My man Robert is really going off the off the shit. <laughs> <laughs> is this website still up? It's, it's still up. 
Welcome, lads, to www.lovesgarfield.com. Holy shit. The only place where world peace can truly be achieved. This is the world peace of an attack cat. Warning, this website is affected <laughs> by attack cats. Wait, 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 this website has not changed since this video came out in 2012. <laughs> Lovesgarfield.com, a private Garfield collection. Keep your eyes open for our tribute to that troublesome cat Garfield. This website features one couple's private collection of Garfield merchandise and collectibles. I honestly feel like this is the type of collection where you need a friggin' hazmat suit to be put on as you walk into the friggin' room. I'm picturing this exact scene perfectly with you unlatch the heavy steel doors and as you sneak open, you in amazement stare on this orange hellhole, this glowing mass. <laughs> Speaking of orange hellhole, holy shit, the absolute power exuding from this image is almost it's near palpable. That is the most powerful human being I've ever seen in my life. I can't believe it. I literally, I think Kublai Khan of the Mongol Empire would be in awe of the absolute friggin' power of this human. <laughs> Only a small fraction of our collection has been posted on this website. <laughs> a small fraction? Excuse me, I don't... They have don't so much know. fucking stuff. I don't think you guys are collectors of merchandise. I think you're just hoarders. Oh, dude, the 2011 Garfield Gathering Long Island NY. Click here. No way. I want to go. Next Gar Gathering. Warning, spooky stuff. Spooky stuff. Click here to enter if you dare. Click here to bypass the scary stuff. I can handle the scary stuff. Click to enable Adobe Flash Player. Oh my god, this is the scariest thing. I can't believe Holy it. Holy shit! Yeah, go to the link I just sent and then scroll down. What are the pictures I think you can see? So, the link that I just sent and then go to the this costume party. <laughs> my favorite Garfield character, Santa Claus. <laughs> I just don't understand. Oh my God. It's like a fever dream. If you look at the image up at the top, when they're, they're, they're in this gaudy like, hotel dining room, and they're there dressed up like Santa Claus, and and they're discussing Garfield, it's just this is honest to God be like a complete fever dream. Well then, can you go back? I saw something on the website about Kathy with her collection. Kathy started collecting Garfield in 1985 when her brother gave her six Garfield plush toys when he left home. Is there even six Garfield characters in total? Those six stuffed animals turned into thousands of Garfield items. <laughs> they just multiplied! <laughs> Third intervention, it's just her like sitting at a table and like, Kathy, you can't keep collecting Garfield. I can stop anytime I want, okay? I can stop! Kathy, you said that last month. You now own 200 more Garfield keychains. Kathy, you have a room dedicated to Pez dispensers. Our entire bathroom is filled with Garfield bottle openers. I do like the way that the first paragraph is phrased, saying that the six stuffed animals turned into thousands of Garfield items, because it makes it sound like, like that episode of Star Trek, The Trouble with Tribbles, and it all like, exponentially develop into more things. So I'm just imagining these six Garfield uh, plush, uh, plush toys spawning into this massive, orange, throbbing mass of Garfield in many different iterations, and I think that's what happened. Like most normal people, I always enjoyed reading the Garfield comics, and probably had a Garfield mug or two. Prior to dating and marrying Kathy, I had no idea what I was in for. I married into Kathy's obsession in 1994, and ever since then my life has been forever tainted and I cannot escape. I gotta say though, this is a supportive husband. Oh yeah. yeah. He made an entire website and video series about selling Garfield merch just for her. So here I am at the 2006 Garfield gathering during the Garfield pajama party, wearing Garfield lounge pants, a Garfield shirt, Garfield slippers, and the new Garfield robe. And I suddenly realized that maybe I was one of them. I'm just impressed that he needed to go out of his way to detail the other things he was wearing and not just the robe that he mentioned in the prior paragraph because for me it, it was it was important because I was just imagining him fully nude. You know, honestly, I, I really I really can't talk much about, you know, like people liking this goofy thing because I mean like I, I think everyone has their obviously not to this extent, but I think everyone has their their things that they're of, like you know, Gerber, you like your stupid comic books, and we have Derek here. So, I can't, I can't really, we can't really 
bees to judge my but they're not doing anything that's like that. As long as they're not anime fans. Exactly. You know, it's 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 a fun time and I gotta say after this whole experience, I too am better acquainted with everything I need to know about seeing all of my videos. I actually have a lot of so I find one thing on uh Samsung, see if I can still find it. Okay. Is it Garfield oh. related? Yes. I play with the Garfield mascot. How much is it? 180 It used to be like 900 dollars. I'm gonna buy this. <laughs> I really like how powerful a picture is Garfield S20. <laughs> 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 that epic moment when you hear a funny joke and you laugh. So guys, uh, have you heard of YouTube and how it's just filled with useless garbage? There's a lot of different channels on YouTube and a lot of them like to focus on specific categories of videos or specific niches, you know, like vlog channels, gaming channels, comedy channels, you know, etc. But even in those specific categories, YouTube is all about expression. Within its rules and guidelines, you can post almost any sort of user-created video content to this platform. And it's because of this that no matter who you are, there will always be something for you on this website. That being said, though, I sometimes feel as though there's content that is not meant for any sort of consumption by any human being. Content of which I am unsure why it exists and who exactly it's for. And that, that is the content that we'll be taking a look at today. But enough introduction, let's just dive right in. Um, so this channel right here, this guy's YouTube channel has over 1,000 videos of him filming washing machines. I'm not, I'm not kidding. Oh, these shit? Oh, my God. You're a very big fan of watching machines. You better try and find the world full WCW 5000D. That's my favorite washing machine, and it's this fucker. Have you looked at my favorite washing machine? I'm gonna lose it. Oh, oh my God. I love washing machines. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness! So did he just get dirt on laundry mats and do this? Apparently, yes. You know, I understand it. He can't commit to one washing machine, so he has to like, <laughs> go to the laundry mat, just try them out. They're like, a washing machine is like a fine woman. They exist. And they both spin at 3,000 RPM. <laughs> Dude, let me check out his about page. Hi, I like different washing machines from different models. Hold up, this man's got 7 million views. 7 million views. What does Washable 2005 have to say about this? Hold on. Okay. I never imagined it would be a super jump over to me. So solid. LOL. Good input, Washable 2005. When the red laser thing came on the screen there, I, I don't know if that was like a warning light or something, but it kind of reminded me of HAL 9000. If HAL 9000 is actually a washing machine. No, it's just straight HAL 9000. I'm sorry, Dave. I can't put your clothes on spin cycle. Open the washer door, Hal. I'm sorry, Dave. It's locked because it's in the rinse cycle. Let's take a break to watch some SNS skits. Okay. I love Saturday Night Live. So he's getting copyrighted by, uh, by NBC? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Just, just watch. Just watch. Here to clarify his meaning is General Storm Sports Cup. <laughs> 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 Okay, let's check out a different video. Here to address the breaking scandal is Donald Trump himself. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, this channel is called President Polo, and, uh, he is famous for posting real SNL clips, which are just ten minute introductions of an SNL clip, and then just him cutting himself in as one of the characters. <laughs> I really love like, the default spinning background, like the newsroom background, that I'm pretty sure was that Final Cut, I think, is what that one's from. Can I also mention he puts his cell phone number in the description? No way, there's no way he does. Yes, he puts his full cell phone number in the description. 
Okay, he does say send your death wishes and remarks to my cell. Oh my god, he does a he does a redo of the taken speech. There's no way. Oh shit, fuck. I, I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want. Looking for ransom. Joker quote. Why, why is he British? I like his accent keeps switching between growly New Yorker to like a Russian mobster to British guy. You know, just reflective on the current state of Joker in DC movies and comics. Have a nice day. Or something. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. He's crazy. The real Joker would never say something like, have a nice day. You know, that was still better than all of Suicide Squad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this guy this guy didn't like damage on his forehead, so he's already uh, he's already up there with the greatest jokers. The fourth highest combat is we live in a society. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> we, we live in a society. This really says a lot about society. Keith Ledger isn't dead. <laughs> <laughs> well we're not done yet, we still got a couple of videos from this guy. Oh god. Here's his most recent video. Joker in my face of my inner side, don't push me. This was posted in 2019. And it's also a of gaming for some reason. He's stretching. Even Joker needs to stretch. <laughs> that epic moment when you hear a funny joke and you <laughs> I 
it's over. It's over for all of you. He's now hydrated. This man is going to go on a rampage. He just got the laws off his shit. Here, let's let's take a look at this one with two views. Aaron drinks water number 5,994. <laughs> I hope this one lives up to the hype of the 5,993 prequel. Oh my god, this guy is like... Crazy. Holy shit! This isn't just water drinking. This is advanced water drinking. So I'm gonna guess this is probably this is like, like the kids didn't drink enough water and their mom was like, let's make you water fun, making YouTube channel. Just cold nuggets? Aaron drinks water, number 511. Buxton bottled water. Really? Oh my god, my man out here drinking this man Buxton bottled water. Buxton. Don't, don't, don't hit me with that. Oh, dark. You know, I'm gonna choke, go get a glass of water, boys, and enjoy it. Dude, I'm drinking water right now. expecting to spend my night, but... What do you mean? You're, you're not having fun? I think you're not having fun. So this guy's name is Jlink Master, and Jlink makes videos of him dancing to uh, music. Just any music. <laughs> I... <laughs> the cartwheels. The fucking cartwheels. Oh my god, this guy's styling. <laughs> Holy shit, look at this man go. Yo, the next man is better than all of us. It's, it's honestly peak of interpretive, I gotta say. <laughs> it's all about God, you don't understand it, you simpleton. You know, when I first heard this song in Ocarina, I, I honestly did not visualize what a dance would look like. He's got a real bad farmer fan, too. <laughs> I mean, you can see, like, as he hops in between the light, how much his, he's glistening and how, how much he's working at this. Like, this man's dedicated. I love every part of this video. I love the egregiously bright yellow vacuum that's just in the center of the shot. The toilet with a threatening aura in the background. <laughs> I really like that one color. I met Derek on this video that just says, I love Blake. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Kirby is at the yard. How many Sims can you do? Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> he's just doing sit-ups. Tasty, it's interpretive. Maybe he's doing sit-ups because he's fighting against the man. And now that I think about it, this is exactly what playing a Kirby game is like. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Um, I, I went to his channel, and he has, he has a video in which he dances to the entire Shrek movie uh, for an hour um, and 20 minutes. <laughs> Welcome, creators of Shrek the movie. I managed to dance to your movie to promote your godly work so everybody can buy more Shrek stuff. If you have a problem with me using your audio dialogue, please contact me on Twitter. Other than that, if you don't have an issue, thank you for letting me dance to your full movie. Let, let's skip to like 35 minutes and 23 seconds. Holy shit, this is ethereal. This is beautiful. Honestly, I feel like I'm at like some fancy opera or something, and this is the big climax. 
There's just so many things going on here. The fact that SpongeBob is just staring directly into my soul in the corner of the screen. So there's a mother on top of SpongeBob. The threatening toilet is still in the background. He's <laughs> <laughs> going. This is like a freaking hour and a half long. <laughs> Literally, we're watching this kid trick ball for an hour and 22 minutes of the Shrek movie, and it's just I applaud him. I applaud him in his rainforest frog shirt. Here, let's skip near the end. Let's skip the one hour and 15 minutes. motherfucker! <laughs> for an hour and 22 minutes, did this. Like, we watch this on like three times speed now to see how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> I think two times speed is the way to watch. It's like he's towering up for some magical incantations like a magical girl in an anime. <laughs> Dude, it's like some ninjutsu shit. <laughs> how is he not snapping his fucking neck? <laughs> I love this man so much. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> oh, oh my god. No, I can't pop that. That's that's just gonna be the end. <laughs> oh, oh my god. No, I can't pop that. That's that's just gonna be the end of the video. You no, know, I think I might have been wrong in the beginning. To Link Master's content is made specifically for me. For the formula they've gone to Iran, <laughs> I'm going to Iran. <laughs> hey guys, what, what's up? How's it going? I'm pretty good. How are, how are you? Have you ever heard of uh, a show? It's called SpongeBob. We did this already. What do you mean we've done this already? Yeah, you did this already. Come on. Where are we? We're coming back. Or it's been months, and you're coming back and reusing content. Unbelievable. If what you're talking about is SpongeBob Beyond, a different video, we're not doing that again. It's something entirely new, entirely different, entirely original. Today we're watching something interesting. I was suggested this multiple times from multiple people. This quote-unquote 40-minute movie special is called Spongebob in Tehran. What? Can you say that again? Spongebob in Tehran. Why? I'm very confused. It is a Persian Spongebob bootleg movie. Oh, oh no. no. For a little bit of background, let me, let me sit you guys down and give you the the full story of this. It's a 43 minute long Spongebob movie distributed in 2017. The plot roughly translated says that it's about this animated story about the friendship of Spongebob and Patrick in Tehran. <laughs> it's interesting to know that Bob and his friend Patrick who traveled to Iran for the first time catch their attention with their hamburgers until they notice something happening. I can't believe it was uh, Spongebob and Patrick they sent into some Iranian hostage crisis. Reagan really took a wild turn there. <laughs> it's speculated that this was made by the people who were involved in making the illegal Persian dub of Spongebob that airs in Irib Puya. Can you explain why there's an illegal Spongebob dub? Is it like a band or did they change stuff to make it like bad? From what I can tell, they didn't get permission from Nickelodeon to dub the show in person. So it's a completely unauthorized illegal dub of Spongebob that is actually broadcast in Persia. It's kind of crazy how they can just kind of get away with that. So yeah, so people are thinking that this is affiliated with that illegal dub because they seem to use a lot of these same voice actors. Also, according to some of the viewers of the film in some of the comments where the movie is like streamed online, the movie ends completely like abruptly with no ending. <laughs> this is completely in Persian. All of the audio is in Persian. Are there okay. subtitles? There are YouTube subtitles that were added to this movie. Okay. There weren't auto-generated, right? They're like someone actually... No, they're not auto-generated. <laughs> they're actual like English stuff. So uh, when are we hosting in dub for this? Um, that's a good question. Uh. That's my answer. 
Do you guys have any other further comments before we get into this? Love Spongebob! <laughs> <laughs> I think they deserve it. Full Spongebob memorabilia. Please! <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys ready for this? I really doubt that you'll ever be ready. Let's just go. Indoor song. <laughs> What's happening? Ah, uh, the beautiful and incredible ocean. And what do we have under the water? It's obvious. It's the Bikini Bottom. Oh. Oh. Bobby is spongy. Dude, what the fuck is this? My face when I eat too many Flintstone vitamins in the morning. You guys know that feel? My man Squidward is definitely feeling it. Now let's see what Patrick's up to. Nope, he's awake. Now all the... <laughs> Kawaii Squad? Kawaii Squad. Kawaii Squad. My sweet money, dear. Oh, such a nice smell. Oh, what's up? We are in trouble, Mr. Crab. Agnes is up to bit. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> Mr. Crab got the strap. I am very confused. M me, me too, dude. I don't know what's happening right now. I just noticed they have two different SpongeBob background music tracks, like playing over each other. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Holy shit, you're right. Sonic Adventure One part seems to be like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, cool. They're dying. Okay, everybody, pack it up. Movie's over. <laughs> That. Ew, I don't like that fuck? model. There's a lot of people on the internet that would love for them to be Spongebob right now. I don't like the Spongebob like blowing into the bag model. <laughs> Spongebob's eyelashes are going into his model. <laughs> <laughs> this is a tutorial video of how I make the secret sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God they found the secret Krabby Patty tutorial video. Ahoy, you two. This is Mr. Krabs. Here to teach you how to create the perfect Krabby Patty. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and follow all of my social media. <laughs> I really like how some of these animations literally look like a child smashing toys together. <laughs> There's no way that they did do that perfectly. Hi, this is Gay Dan from the future. I'm going to realize that some of you viewers might not know what the Adobe Premiere Media Missing Screen even is. So now I'm going to illustrate it using the power of my editing software. Now, you see this GIF right here of Kylo Ren? A normal GIF of Kylo Ren. What exactly happens when you go into your files and delete the sort of file that this is drawing on? Well, let's take a look. You see, right there, this is the Adobe Premiere Media Offline. This is showing us that the media that was once here is now deleted, and Adobe Premiere can't pull it up on the program. And with that knowledge, you can now appreciate the funny joke that we just made. There is no fucking way that they did that on purpose. <laughs> hey, dumb question. Do you know what the fuck is happening? No. <laughs> I've been reading and I'm trying to follow <laughs> along and it's not working. <laughs> you have to go after this guy. He knows everything. You have to find him. You have to go find this poor old guy. He knows the things you need to find out. Go find him. Dude, I think I got it. I think that the, the plot revolves around finding this guy. And that he remembers the secret Krabby Patty secret formula or, or something. Don't quote me on that, but, but I'm pretty sure. This one's in Iran. You have to go to Iran. <laughs> it says the Iranians are very friendly. <laughs> the, the font! The font! <laughs> they use fucking Disney font! <laughs> I just... The production value on this is insane. Yeah. I really love the Smash Bros. spirit board. <laughs> go ahead and have a 
Oh my god, the Photoshop guy. Oh I'm impressed. They really managed to perfectly capture what downtown Toronto airport looks like. Wait, wait. Now that they're using an actual episode and overdubbing it. I guess sometimes they just use 3D models and sometimes they're just going to use... Oh, okay. We're, we're back to this. Goodbye, Mr. Krabs. Oh. Oh, I don't like how that came. I really don't like how that came out of the tent. <laughs> I swear, this doesn't happen that often. Oh. Fun, Bob, are you feeling all right there? <laughs> what, one eye's bigger than the other. His pupils are facing different directions. I said they're facing different directions. <laughs> Secret wait, wait a second, they went to Iran to find out the secret formula because they lost it, but it was in the safe the entire time. I don't like this! Oh, it's so tight! I don't like that! I don't like that! It's so tight, says Plankton. It's so tight! It's so tight, Krabs! <laughs> Threw his back out because it was so tough. Can you shut up? I've been defeated by crabs again. Where are you, Formula? Did you notice in the wide of Plankton from behind? He doesn't have antennas. <laughs> <laughs> Plankton doesn't get the secret formula, and it's just wig. What's this? For the formula that young to I ran? <laughs> this time, no one can stop me. I'm going to I ran. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to Iran. <laughs> just gotta make sure the audience knows, just to be sure. Plankton is going to Iran. <laughs> oh dear God, that got Aww. unnecessarily misogynistic. Thank you, SpongeBob and Turon. <laughs> oh, oh no. Patrick, Patrick's face. Patrick's face just looked like a dick and ball. I. <laughs> Disney Fawn. God, I love Disney Plus is showing. This is so great. I gotta say, I don't know how they fucked up Squidward so bad. Yeah, I think they fucked up Patrick in this whole Patrick's like Uncanny Valley, though. Like, he's just off so slightly that he looks super disturbing to me. His mouth is too high, so it's like clipping into his eyes. That's horrifying. I mean, honestly, Squidward just looks like kind of from the front. It looks like, like normal Are you Squidward. sure about that? Is that normal Squidward? <laughs> 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 Patrick looks like a monster that I'm gonna see tonight, like it's sleep paralysis. <laughs> Patrick is a sleep paralysis demon. Yeah, basically. I got that booty This is like the reaction when you see somebody wearing YouTuber merch out in public. <laughs> yeah, anyone that bought official Salty TK Dan merch, this is exactly what you look like. I hope you're happy. Yeah, if we ever see you wearing our merch, we're gonna laugh. Yeah, the people laughing, all these green fish laughing. That's us. Shouldn't they be searching for this dude? Why are they like on vacation eating soup? I like how the two different PNGs of the oh, oh, oh. That's awful. Tag yourself on that fish. <laughs> They just traded it Squidward for bowls of soup. I gotta get my Campbell Chunky. SpongeBob and Patrick just sold Squidward into slavery. Just nonchalantly. Yeah, for Campbell Chunky. <laughs> it was a regular it was Campbell Chunky. <laughs> Campbell Chunky. <laughs> <laughs> they're just eating fucking hot dogs. The hot dogs aren't even 3D <laughs> models. They're just like PNG files. <laughs> flat PNGs. Are they never gonna find this guy? Are they should eat the entire episode? Yeah, they're just eating in different places in Iran. They're not even looking for this guy. This sign says this premises is closed until further notice. 
really glad it's canon that SpongeBob can read Arabic. <laughs> <laughs> Is the language Arabic in this? Uh, it, it's uh, Persian or Farsi, I think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. They might have to say the alphabet because it's, it's, like it's like the difference between Russian and Ukrainian. They're two different languages, but they both use Cyrillic. Should we re record that joke or no? Or just no. Not? No. Okay, good. I want you to leave in the fact that we should re record the joke. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're going to do the fucking screenshot with the big line of all the people there, and then the two places with the it looks like one of those memes that it's like coochie and book and the line goes out of coochie and no one's going to book and that's all it's reminding me of right now. <laughs> Sneaking into the kitchen at 3 a.m. Sneaking into the bathroom at 3 a.m. My friend sneaking into my bathroom at 3 a.m. <laughs> Wait, did they invade this guy's house? <laughs> I don't know. They're breaking and entering. <laughs> Fun my friends go to Iran and break and entering. <laughs> Abkal, a Persian dish in parentheses. Thank you, subtitles. I, I, just, I was just a little taken aback by the fact that Spongebob was like, alright, we'll take six brains. <laughs> Who's getting the best brain? Spongebob and Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's the Krabby Patty secret formula. The Krabby Patty secret formula is some good brain. And all I really need is a bit of weed with a good head. Hashtag, hashtag Krabby Patty secret formula. <laughs> they have made no progress on finding this thing. But you ran around eating food and this entire time. Literally for about 10 they went to to ask him about the picture. Well, why didn't they do that the first two times they went? I... I don't know. Man, it's amazing that, like, normally Squidward's the one that's an asshole, but, like, he turns out to be, like, nice at the end of the episode or whatever. Yeah. They're just being fucking pieces of shit to Squidward the whole time. <laughs> Shut up, Squidward. <laughs> you know nothing about Iran. <laughs> oh my god. It was a picture. Hey guys, I haven't seen more bloodshot. Hashtag epic Joe Biden moment. <laughs> <laughs> Epic Joe Biden moment? Yeah, you don't remember when his eyeball blew up on stage during the <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, what? <laughs> Is there footage of this? Yeah. Our next president, Daniel Sweeney, a student at Columbia Law School, he said he voted for President Trump. He's now disillusioned with the Republican Party, plans to change parties and vote for a Democrat in the next election. Mm. Daniel? China is correct. <laughs> The fuck is that? That is not a fish. Pa panther fish. That's not a fish. That's just a panther. <laughs> it's a panther with a mustache. That's not even a panther, that's a tiger. <laughs> Me, the furry friend, hanging out with all of you guys. <laughs> <laughs> and then they found the secret formula, and it ended. The end. What did you guys think of SpongeBob in Parade? It's good. It's really good. My personal favorite part was when they were stuck in traffic and they were complaining about potholes. My favorite part is when they went to the same restaurants three times in a row. After watching that, are you going to try Tehranian food? Yeah, you know, after watching this, how about we all go to Tehran? How about that? Alright, next stretch goal on Patreon, everybody. Get Derek to $1,000 a month and we can go to Tehran and we'll film a vlog. <laughs> I want to hear your opinions on the thumbnail of this video, okay? Okay, here we go.
<laughs> so, guys, have you heard about the fact that all fictional characters are now real? What? Did you hear about this? Was in the news that that all fictional characters are real? <laughs> no, no, this this is real. This is this is real. Do you want to see some real life superheroes? Why wouldn't I? Five five Goku caught on camera. Five singular Goku? Holy shit, dude! Five Goku caught on camera. Real dude. life Dragon Ball Z. Truthrevolution.net. Your source for all Goku's real. Number five. There he is. Look, look mm. he is. There he is. What is this? This is claiming to be Goku, but what if this shit was an actual real UFO? It's not a UFO, Colin. It's Goku. Did you read the title of the video? Five Goku caught on camera. We're only dealing in realities here, man. We don't talk about stupid UFOs here. Um, <laughs> it's not Goku. Um, <laughs> I don't know what this is. That, that literally looks like a rocket crash. What is this footage? It, it looks like a chemtrail. <laughs> I wonder how he's doing in his fight against Treza. I mean, I just, I don't even understand this video footage. Right, has so like I just did. Pixels in it. How is this directly. I'm afraid that like, this okay. is some actual like dark web footage that's being like covered up. The FBI is like, we cannot let the public know that it's Goku. We can't let them know that he's real. I want to hear your opinions on the thumbnail of this video. Okay. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Thanos, what are you doing in the road, silly boy? Why is this big purple man in the middle of the road? Dude, I mean, just looking at that image, there's like a cop car there that's like stopped from an accident. Imagine, imagine if this cop came over to pull over this, this car driven by a fucking crackhead and fucking Thanos steps out of the goddamn car and just stepped into traffic. I swear, some of these titles just sound like they were generated by a bot. Six Avengers Endgame Infinity War caught on camera spotted in real life. Dude, dude, no, like seriously though, I think the thing that gets me about these titles is in real life. Like this is, this is real. We're not shitting you here. No shit, folks. This is real. There's some fucking idiots in the comments that are doubting, because there's this one guy who's like, Are you mad, bro? Thanos not real. <laughs> are you mad, bro? Thanos not real. To get through that trauma, thankfully, I have my patented Harambe shot glass that I'm going to proceed to take a shot for right now. There's no way that you have a Harambe shot glass. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm gonna send it. I'm gonna send a picture of it in chat. One second. Take a shot for Harambe. He took one for you. And who is this in the background with the Ben Ten blanket? Oh, you know. I wasn't going to question it because I just, I, I just kind of expect these things from you. Oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> When you activate no clip mode in Gmod. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> there, there it is! There it is! Doctor Strange. It's the dude on the motorcycle. Oh my god, it is the dude on the motorcycle, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, okay. I'll buy that. I, I love how we were trying to focus, like, okay, who in the crowd is Doctor Strange? And then just a portal opens up. <laughs> Spider-Man, Spider-Man. You know, I'm just imagining that, that this <laughs> And there's a ghost behind him too, you see <laughs> Yeah. That? Right there? Don't mind the ghost, just there. fucking Spider-Man. Spider-Man's fighting that ghost right now. Oh my god. <laughs> Thanos casually walking down the street. Everybody baller until the Thanos start walking. <laughs> But wait, Thanos wasn't hit by a car in this video. What was the thumbnail? Yeah, wait, where, where was the car that hit Thanos? Okay, what if, what if I told you that there were five... Five Sonic caught on camera and spotted in real life. <laughs> there he is. There he is. Five Sonic caught on camera. <laughs> Sonic just appears in the fucking suburbs of Birmingham, England. You know, where he always is. Zelda Unknown Origins? Because I haven't, and I'm very scared. I have. Well, please enlighten us. Please. 
Okay, well, Zelda Unknown Origins, or Zelda UO, is a animated web series made by a guy who goes by Scoot Hukos. That is an amazing username. I'll, I'll, I'll give him that. It's an amazing username. And Scoot Hukos. He made this super long Legend of Zelda series, and I was a huge fan of it when I was a kid, actually. But nice. yeah, so I think that's all the background we need. Are you guys ready to experience Zelda UO? Yeah. Shigeru Miyamoto produced it. It makes so much sense. And wrote this! It makes, it, it, <laughs> and he wrote it! You know, it makes sense that after producing such quality content, my man fucking Shigeru wrote everything in fucking <laughs> Microsoft Word 2003 using papyrus <laughs> font. Papyrus <laughs> font. I was gonna say, if there's one thing that infuriates me about this more than anything else, why are the credits in papyrus? Why? of new grounds now. It reeks of DeviantArt before, now it just reeks of new grounds. Oh. Here it comes. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that running animation is really just you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I, I'm not. 
actually not be kidding me. You're the chosen one! Oh no, no. Manga! Wait, Manga? Hello? Wait, wait a second! Oh my god, Link got hit with a concussion so hard that this web series just became an officially licensed manga. <laughs> Fucking outlines looking like the goddamn eraser head baby. What the no, hell was that? Surprise! Oh my god, dude, I recognize what voice he's doing. He's doing the voice where you inhale while you speak, so he's like, Hey, Lord, we got to eat this Yeah. I am the great Deku's brother. Oh, and it just ends. No fucking text, uh, no, no papyrus text credits this time. Next. Next. Next nope. episode. Next episode. Next up, you're getting into it, huh? No, no, I, I'm so into this right now. Holy shit. Oh my god, dude, it just gets better and better. I'm sorry, why does... This is the crustiest looking JPEG of a title screen I've ever seen. Well, yeah, obviously Shigeru didn't really have as many resources to make this that he did all the other ones. His arms! Oh. Oh. My man here, Monk, never... How did your arms get that way? Uh, he never skipped is arm day, Is this because day, you're an interation or whatever? <laughs> I fell, and now I get to piggyback on you. Haha. <laughs> That is so cute of me. <laughs> I am adorable, XD. Oh my god, it's Yoda! And his brother, White Yoda! Oh my god, it actually looks like Yoda. What the fuck? Oh fuck. my god, he's White Yoda, no! Wait, he's from video games for the flashbacks. <laughs> he's, oh, he's activating the Avatar stage!
Oh my god, this is Shadow the Hedgehog. That's Black Doom. It's Black Doom. Sh Shadow, please. Get me a milkshake. Shadow, kill Saria. Oh my god, he's going Super Saiyan. Oh my god! Why does he have a cowboy hat on? He has a cowboy hat! He has a cowboy hat! No fucking way! I love that he just doesn't want to draw feet. So he just thinks- He just draws the pants. So he just thinks on him. Oh! Excuse me? Oh my god, it's Tingle! Oh it's my like, god, it's a tingle! He looks great! Ah! If he doesn't say Kulu Limpa in the next five goddamn seconds, I'm gonna flip his shit. <laughs> there he goes. Little, little oh, kiss. he's got hit by lightning. Link's dead. Okay, bye, Link. He's dead. He should just end here. <laughs> Again. No fucking way. You followed me. It's a good thing I did. Oh, it's Zelda! It's everyone's favorite character. I love the Zelda character thing. I want so much art of Diggs. Please tell me that Diggs just accompanies Link for the rest of the series. He does. Oh my god. God, yes! Why are the Gorons scrawny? They're supposed to be thick boys. What is this? Dude. This is, this is like, fat shaving Gorons? Come on. I mean, they freaking bimbo-fied fucking Tingle, bro. I don't know what you're expecting from him. Yeah, wait, they made Tingle into a fucking twink! That is not true. Tingle was a twink to begin with, and they turned him into a fucking brandy. No, he was a twunk! No, he wasn't a twunk. He had no there muscle definition. Tingle was a chumpy. Some of these shots are animated like this is actually a South Park episode, <laughs> and I kind of know. Pioneers, you surprise this babe! Oh no! I can't believe that Boston just interrupted your SpongeBob reference! Like I'd hire her to file my taxes. 
Stop being you. Thanks. I love you, man. Even when the doctor tells you that you have brain damage, you are fine. I like how they're doing this even though we've already seen what her face looks like. Yeah. Oh shit, dude. She's getting a call on her iPhone. <laughs> the fucking gunshot noises, dude. I Oh my god, he has a big sword! Every anime trope is here! Oh shit, dude, now he's in the city. Oh my god, he's achieved god form. Oh my god, it's Bleach. <gasps> this is Bleach. This is Bleach now. It's Bleach. It's Bleach it's now. It's Bleach now. What the fuck is darkening? Uh, are you kidding? It must be so Ow! That fucking mosquito noise. I thought that you were voice acting for Link, getting his arm chopped off, and you're like, ow! Ow! <laughs> ah! Fuck! I forgot. Zelda bullshit. I mean, anime bullshit. How convenient. Oh. That's a deus ex machina, <laughs> if I've ever heard it. There's so much to unpack in that. If he's not a bad guy, just full of secrets. Oh. Why does he even make a Zelda series if he's if he's putting in all these original characters anyway? Who could this be? Oh. Oh. Oh, oh shit, it's Minecraft. <laughs> That's not funny! <laughs> <laughs> She's a smoker! Oh. 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 I have no funny. idea what dark ending is. <laughs> I have no idea. It, it, it made me black. That's all I know. Wow, what a cliffhanger that will never ever be with. Oh my god. Scoot, 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 scoot! What if he's just telling you to move? Like, like, like you're standing in front of him, and he's just like, <laughs> scoot over. You know, this entire web series just to tell somebody to scoot over. So that was Zelda Unknown Origins. Well, you know, okay, I, I will say it right now, as much as we made fun of it to the max, if I saw this when I was younger, like just on new ground, I would flip a shit. I would follow this to the very end. That's what I did. I fucking love this shit. Like, I remember I'd wait like six months for every new episode on Newgrounds, which is actually like kind of impressive, because like when you think about it, because animation takes- so, so like, so like for reference, I've been working on animating oh, no, a thing. I've gotten about ten seconds of rough animation done, actually less since I got a redo a shot, 
took me about a week. This guy is able to put out finished animation, colored backgrounds in like six months. That's oh, like now I get 1. It. Yeah, 1.75 minutes of animation a month. That's like kind crazy good. It's got everything that a young like anime fan would love, including big stories. And big. I think that's good. A pasty, do you have anything else you want to say? I don't know. Legend Zelda. But, uh, I'm tired. I'm gonna love this game. I've never played a Zelda game. What the fuck? Why am I even talking to you people? Hey guys, uh, have you heard about my new plush? What? No. What plush? So over the past month or so, I've been in contact with Makeshift, they make plushies, and they offered to make one of me. So I said yes, and now here we are. People can buy the plush online right now. The link is in the description, it's, it's right there. Thing is, these things are being sold for a limited time. Three weeks, that's all we get. So that's where you two come in. You're gonna help me brainstorm on how to advertise this thing. I gotta sell 400 of these, and if nobody buys them, then they don't get made. So, what do you got? Well, there's gotta be 400 saps out there that would be willing to buy a fucking salty DK Dan plushie. I'm talking to all of you. Hey everyone, it's it's me, it's Salty DK Dan. You should buy my plushie. It's really good quality, and it's really fun. It's no oh shit. Um, <laughs> I didn't intend to do that. Also, oh, no head. What about I just <laughs> do a test roll as well? with no head. Whoa, whoa, salty with no head? Oh, let me go around. Okay, but seriously, we only have three weeks. Do either of you have any ideas? Any ideas at all? Mm. You insist on how affordable That's it. and high quality yeah. it is. People at the Maybe tomorrow. Really high Maybe quality and pretty. I'll be back to this game.